where is your mic? You're all fucked up. You don't you don't know what's going on. You, my, my, I didn't have mine ready either. I'm all fucked up. Hold on. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. Hey, everybody. Happy yep. Wednesday, motherfucker. Happy Wednesday. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, hold on. I'm discombobulated, y'all. Sarah Bear, uh, Sheila. Sarah Bear, Sheila, don't tread David. on me. Logan, Maurice. Patricia. Dustin. Mike M. Don't tread. Or Mike B. I said Mike M. Overland Pioneers, Gustavo. Travis and Jess. We got all oh, the regs up in here. Anthony Hopkins. Uh, Piper on the Bay. Good evening, everybody. What's up, Colin? Let's see. Who else we got in here? Ivan. Donald. Bryce. Chris. Dirk. Dirk. Dirk Wilson. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, everyone. We need to start the video. I'm whooped up on. By saying what are we gonna say babe <laughs> i don't know what are you talking about that we have a sponsor of the live stream oh tonight. yeah yeah we do have a spot we actually for the whole year for the whole year they, they signed on for the year so i mean it's not going to be every single episode but they signed on for i think a couple times a month a couple times a month for the year so big thanks to the guys uh, at blind barrels at blind barrels they um We'll talk about them. We'll a talk bit about more them more in a little, a little while. Bit. You guys have seen. We did a video on them. They're they're great dudes, and um, they reached out and were interested in uh, sponsoring the lives. And I was like, hell's yeah, the little sponsor sponsor on the live lives. And those are good dudes. Whoop whoop. Fits with good with the live streams too, because I mean, you know, yeah, no, whiskey, cigars, blind barrels does that kind of stuff. So yeah, big. Oh, you did make a thing. Links down below, by the way. What you made a thing. Yeah, man, you're behind. You're behind. I didn't think you were, had time to do it. I'm, I'm good like that. It's been, always. I've been busy. I know. I, I feel he's like been I a say, busy bee. I feel like I say this every he's week. He's been a busy little. But Wednesdays bee. are always such a clusterfuck. They really are. Like I was still out in the garage working at like six or six thirty. And I was like, I haven't done shit for the live stream yet today. <laughs> I haven't set up the live stream. I haven't put any of the stuff up i haven't i didn't get any b-roll today guys i'm just gonna go ahead and throw that bad news out there right now no b-roll <laughs> um i was out there i was trying i'm trying because we're going to provoticon this weekend friday saturday will be a provoticon so if you guys are going to be down there come find I me i want to know how many of y'all are coming yeah let me know tee off uh, in the in the in the uh the old chatteroo over here and let us know if you're going to be at provoticon this weekend but so if we you are look for Come and find me and say, hey, what's up? Not that we'll know what your face is like. Yeah, we don't know what any motherfuckers look like. You need to wear like. a name tag with your YouTube handle. <laughs> right. Um, but um, that, that I would recognize. But come find us if, if you guys are going to be there. I want to get to see you guys in person. I did get to hang out with um, Darkseid, a.k.a. Travis. I did verify he's okay with me using his real name on here, which is much easier than saying Dark, Darkseid EMT every time. Uh, Travis, who works with Extrusions Overland. I went down to uh, Stark this past weekend. They had the Save Expo. We talked about that on last week's live. I didn't take any footage. I started to take footage, and then I was just kind of chilling. I was just, I just wanted to kind of hang out and relax. You know, I stay busy, so it was nice just kind of go down there, walk around, see some things, hang out with Travis. I hung out with uh, Travis a lot of the day. Went and saw a couple vendors uh, and got to meet Carlos and Brolio, two of the guys that um, work with extrusions. Carlos actually has a Chevy just like mine that he has all tricked out, basically the same way I'm going to trick my truck out for the overlanding build. So it works out great because I have a template to go off of and I don't have to do trial and error and find out that it doesn't work well on my truck because he's kind of already got it perfect. So I just kind of hung out down there. By the way, those guys can cook their asses off. <laughs> I don't know if that's something to do with uh, they're from, uh, where are they from? Oh God, where are they from? It's not Brazil. Argentina? I think they're from Argentina. Don't cry for me. Me, Argentina. Argentina. I think they're from, uh, Travis will, can say, I want to say, they said they're from Argentina originally. Am I totally wrong on that? Am I fucking that all up? Anyway, they're very nice guys, and uh, they can cook their asses off. They did some 
Bacanya, and he cooked these sausages, and they cooked it all in this little Nomad grill. I, uh, I've got to get one of those Nomad grills. I really do. Awesome. Awesome. It's like a little, um, it's like a little portable jobber that you could take like camping to the beach, overlanding, you know, whatever. And it's, it looks like a briefcase almost. It kind of folds up, but it's all aluminum and it unfolds and it's got two grills. You can use it as a smoker cause it'll actually close up and it's got a thermometer stuff. So you could smoke stuff on it. You can grill stuff on it. It doesn't get too hot on the outside because it's like double walled. Uh, it's, it's pretty fucking Venezuela. That's where they're from. Venezuela. I, I, it's not Argentina the fuck is wrong with me uh venezuela is where they're from but uh those guys uh especially brolio can cook his ass off that dude cooked some good ass grub i will say yeah i just hung out it was good i had a good time at the expo travis was nice enough to bring me a bottle of whiskey which we're gonna uh, drink a little of tonight he brought me a bottle of, he lives in texas uh and the uh balcones uh, in waco is near him so he went to the distillery and brought me a bottle of whiskey which i greatly appreciate uh argentinians can grill some meat and let me tell you what so can um venezuelans I think it's that's all pretty close, right? I mean, my geography is pretty horrible, but isn't Argentina and Venezuela pretty close? Uh, seems like it would be. <laughs> Scroll down. What? <laughs> Your what? son. Jer- Jeremy's son piped in here and said, just wanted to stop by and say, hi, please don't ground me. <laughs> Get out of here, boy. Hello and good night. Hello and good night. Get out of here. <laughs> Unappropriate stuff goes on in this chat. Get out of here. I'm drinking. Crystals. I'm drinking poppy tonight, y'all, because I've had a headache all day. I did not feel good the last two days, and um, so that's it. That's it. Poppy for me, except I am going to taste some of that uh, whiskey. You got. That poppy tastes like shit. Actually, I won't lie. The, no, the, it doesn't. The grape, the grape, and that's it. This is the strawberry lemonade. Get I like out of this here. one. Get out of here, Gary. I like the cherry lime. I like the... Um, Dr. Pepper one, the Doc Pop. Nope. Nope. And I like the orange and I like the grape. The only one I don't like no, is a weirdness. The there's only one I don't like is the root beer. The the other, what was the other one you had? Cherry lime. I might I'll try that one. That one might like that I one. I don't have any more. I drank them all. Okay. But uh, next bye, time Jared. I get them. Goodbye, son. He's like he's like, <laughs> Goodbye guys. Bye. Goodbye. Um, Night, Jay. Um oh, crystals. He was correcting his spelling is what he was doing. Crystals. Crystals. Um, Jared will know what I'm talking about. That was an inside <laughs> thing. But um, what was I saying? I lost train of my. I, imagine that me losing a train of thought. So weird. I never lose train of thought. Uh, the piper. Oh, the, the piper. grape one. The pollen is terrible. Piper. The grape one is great. The grape one tastes like grape soda. The other ones so far, I have not been. Yeah, the the grape is like old school grape soda, right? Long Ash. It's. The grape is the only one yeah, so good. far I've had that I like. If I if you could just buy grape, you I mean you could. Then it would be not good. Not at Costco. Though. The root beer is fucking horrible. The root beer is terrible. You know what's funny? A friend of mine at work the other day she had the root beer one, and I was like, "Do you like that one?" And she was like, "Well, yeah, I'm drinking it." The root beer she likes. <laughs> and I was it? like, "Really?" I said, "That's the only one I don't like. Like none of my family likes that one. It tastes weird." And she was like, "No, it actually tastes like root beer." I was like, "It actually does not at all." <laughs> but anyway. I said I like them all except for that one. Hold on a second. Piper said he had tickets to Bravada Comedy had to cancel. Ah, oh, suck. Uh, Jeremy, if you missed it, Bradley from Zeal Cigars passed away. Tim's old partner. Isn't oh. that the heavy set guy? With the um, is that the uh, is that the uh, my eyes are like itching. The pollen must be getting to me or something. They've been fine all day, but. I, now that I'm inside, my eyes are starting to itch. Um, Dustin, get out of here. He said grape soda is trash. Dustin, you stop it. It's purple drink. <laughs> um, is that the big guy? Colin, is that the big, the big fella with the beard that he used to be on? Wasn't he like fairly young? What did he pass away from? What happened? I feel like I, he, don't know who that is. I feel like he was like in his... Uh, this fucking eye is itching. It's driving me crazy. Uh, I feel like he was like maybe in his fifties. I mean, he could have been that old. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me know. 
Uh, there motorcycle is motorcycle accident. Oh, uh, suck. Uh, there is more gun content coming. There is plans for that this year, my friend. Plans for that this year. Uh, I'm gonna get caught up here. <laughs> Grape soda is trash. That's where I'm at. I'm at the gut. Justin uh, Dustin's. Yes, it was a motorcycle. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. We know all about that shit. That's why I don't ride my motorcycle anymore. No motorcycles around here. Nope. I've told that story before. Allison's dad passed away. Same thing. Motorcycle accident. And her mom almost. She almost got a, a double. Her mom and her dad almost because they were both on the bike when they got into the accident. Luckily, her mom made it. It was banged up pretty bad. It took her a long time to recuperate. Yeah. Uh, her dad did not make it, however. And after that, and me and they her bought bikes at the same time. Yeah, me and her, me and her dad used to ride together. And uh, after that, every time I'd go out on the bike, she would just have a straight panic attack. So then it got to where I felt bad. <laughs> it's just no good. Yeah, it's it was. Not, it was it's just not good. It, it got to be where every time I'd go out, I know she was at home miserable. So then I felt bad. So then I didn't go out as much, and the bike would sit yeah. for months, and I wouldn't ride it. Then I'm like, why do I have a bike taking up space in my garage? That every time I ride it, I feel like shit when I'm riding it. She feels like shit when I'm riding it. Like, so I just got rid of it, and I haven't yeah. I haven't had one in years. It sucks. Uh, but. And uh, that exactly right there is why because, uh, yeah. and it's not the motorcycle's fault. It's all the crazy assholes on the street. Yeah, my dad was super safe, and it's yeah. all the the people that are trying to kill you. Uh, super chat from Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate the super chat, Billy. Brew Run Reflection One. In our new would it do, Blue Run Reflection 1, in our new Viskies, love it. Vickies. In our new Vickies, love it. Um, I don't, haven't had blue. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you trying to read. Well, I, my, my eyes are like watering because for some reason this fucking eye is itching like crazy. Because you were out with the pollen all day. But it was fine all day when I was out there in it. And now all of a sudden like my eyes feel like they've got fucking like sand in them. Yeah. Anyway, I have not had Blue Run uh, Reflection. New Visky, though. It tastes better in that Visky, doesn't it? I guarantee you that makes it taste at least 5% better. 100%. The Viskies are awesome. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Terrible do, do, news. Feels so do, do, bad for his daughters. Do, do, do. Yeah, dude. It's, that's, see, that's why I can't. I got kids. I got a wife. I just, I can't. As much as I love motorcycles and I enjoyed riding it, I just, uh, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it, man. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't do it. I, I uh, well, you know, and the ironic thing, you know, my dad, my dad rode Harleys like all in like his youth, right? Like his twenties, whatever, rode Harleys with his friends. And when my mom started having kids, she made him get rid of it. Well, she didn't like make him, but it was the same thing. Like she was nervous. She was like, you have little babies, like, you know, it's risky. And so he got rid of his bike and he didn't get another one until that time he didn't have it long no he didn't have it long but it, what mm -mm. about six eight months i wasn't even that long i don't think really um yeah i mean i i love riding bikes and florida is a good place to ride bikes just because we have he mean, loved it there's a few months a year it's too hot but the, pretty much the rest of the year you can ride here it almost never gets too cold to ride here but uh it's just too sketchy man the people here drive like ass holes mm -hmm. assholes we have some of the worst i think florida has some of the worst drivers of any state they really are hard and i know probably everybody feels that way everybody's like no our state has the worst drivers <laughs> but but uh the people here really do drive like jackasses i mean 95 i'm pretty sure people think that that's a speed limit not the interstate it's interstate 95 but i think people think that it's the speed limit because if you the speed limit's 70 by the way uh which i never do 70 no i usually do 80 but if you're doing 80 which is 10 over people are running you over man you i mean really like 90 is probably the speed most people are going on that road i mean because uh it, people i go 80 and people like are fly flying by. past yeah, me fly or past like you. riding my ass in the left lane mm -hmm. like i'm going 50. mm-hmm Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. wild. Mm -hmm. We live on a really bad stretch of ninety five too. Like there's accidents, I don't know, all the time, 
all the time. Okay, I brought I took Travis some some samples of some whiskey that I didn't think he would probably probably had not had or would have a hard time getting a hold of. And let's see what he says. Octomore Ten was great. The Wild Turkey Bro, uh, Brolio and I had at camp. It was good too. Uh, yeah, I took him some Octomore Ten. I took him some Wild Turkey Generations. I took him some Mid uh, Winter's Night Dram. Oh, you know. did. And what else did I take him? I took him four samples. Mid Winter's Night Dram. Oh, some of uh, the Pravada Penelope pick. The Penel- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I tried to find stuff that, like, I thought, I tried to take up some stuff that I thought it'd be hard to get a hold of. Yeah. Like, Octomore 10, you're not going to probably find that. The Pravada pick was a barrel pick, so you won't ever get that. Midwinter's Night Tram is, I mean, it was, it was out a little while ago, but it's a once a year thing. Yeah. And um, the Wild Turkey Generations, yeah, that was an expensive release. So that was pretty rare and, and uh, it was good. So anyway, glad you enjoyed them, buddy. Glad you enjoyed them. We're going to drink some of the bottle you gave me tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let me get caught, called up. Tonight, we got a good cigar. We have no B roll. People were hating on you in the comments. Why? <laughs> They're like, no B-roll again. This is bullshit. I can't help it, y'all. <laughs> I, look, here's the, here's the skinny. I was I was getting into it, then we got uh, sidetracked on something else. I will be at Provodicon this Friday, Saturday, so come find us. But I this extrusions overland rack and the midnight forest water system and this next edition of the overland build that I'm trying to get done – I need to get done before I leave on Friday to go to Orlando for two days. So I was the last day or so I've been doing all that. And I was trying to get it finished today. I ended up not getting it finished, but I was doing my best to get it finished today. So I was out in the garage all day working on the truck and I didn't come in until like six o'clock. So no time, no time, but that means, uh, we will have a video. <laughs> Monday. It's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Mm-hmm. If I wouldn't have done that, then the next video wouldn't have been until like probably next Wednesday or Thursday because I'm about to lose two days of work going down to Provodicon. Normally, I would be working Friday and Saturday, but I'm not because I'm going to be down there. I'm going to try to get some footage, though. We'll see. I just don't know if I could turn that into a video because, you know, it's all cigar content. Now, I could put it on the second channel, potentially, uh, or this channel that you guys watch this on, I could guess I could do a little Provodicon meetup video kind of thing. But um, I don't know that I could put it on the main channel because it's going to be so heavy cigar-ish stuff. You thirsty? I'm thirsty. That's why I'm not drinking <laughs> whiskey. I'm trying to hydrate, man. I'm hot. I'm not at garage sweating all day. I didn't even have time to shower <laughs> before the live stream, y'all. Maury I- said, you got one more time with no B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> And he said he's sending Sheila after you. Oh, God, please no. No, no. <laughs> that woman is a savage. <laughs> um, let me... Uh, I need to pull up this cigar because I have no information. Oh, yeah. I have no information on this cigar. I think I have it. Um, I got it right here. Okay. Hopefully, I don't see a lot of information in here. Sometimes they don't have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Brian, what the fuck over? Let's see. Does it say the Maduro the same or same as the original blend? Well, what the fuck's the original blend? I don't know. God damn it, Brian. I'm gonna have to pull it. The wise man. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get this pulled up so we can talk about the cigar. I told you I'm unprepared today. I'm unprepared. Unprepared. Had a lot going on today. I can't find Allison's over there thunder typing. What? Let me answer your question. How do you type loud on an iPad? My nails, maybe? I don't know, dude. That shit's loud. It's like. I feel like it's. What's that? Wasn't it like a. Was it a Saturday Night Live skit? I'm trying to find. I'm going to have to find. Allison's not filling the, the, the void like she's supposed to. Sorry, I'm answering a question. Well, you should be filling the empty space while I'm looking for the cigar. That's what your job is, Allison. Your job. 
You had Sometimes one. I start filling empty space and then you talk over me. Yeah, but just do it anyway. See how long it takes. Hmm? What? I was going to see how long it took for there to be nobody saying anything before you started filling in some empty space. Well, I'm filling in space because I'm answering the, the, I'm in the chat. Well, how about you get I'm out? I'm in the chat. How about you get out the chat and get on the mic? I'm in the chat. I'm in the chat, chat, chat. How about you get out the chat and on the uh, mic? This is a women's hoodie. Do you want me to answer the, these are the questions? <laughs> sure, man. Go for it. I'm trying to find information on the cigar. This is a women's hoodie. What the fuck is a women's hoodie? They asked if it's women's or men's. I said it's women's. It's huh? women's. It's got a little uh, slit on the side. All the hoodies Allison wears could fit a 475-pound man. I like them comfy. Okay. Comfy isn't the word. She likes them ginormous. I mean, <laughs> Neil said Allison typing. I can hear on my surround sound. Dude, I'm serious. Like she's so. It made me think someone was walking through my house. It was like distracting, <laughs> dude. She's like, dur, 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 dur. I'm like, what are you over there fucking doing on that thing? Sorry. I mean, you think you had mechanical keys on that motherfucker? It's not. It's like an. It's one of those like iPad keyboards. It's like the flat keys, and they're like, I don't know how she was making it that loud. I mean, I don't know. Pure talent. I cannot find pure talent. Should we talk about love is blind? What do y'all want to talk oh, about? Oh Jesus Christ. You're about to get fired. Me and Sheila can talk about love is blind. You and Sheila are the only two episode. motherfuckers on this live stream that give two hot fucks about love is blind. Maybe. Let's just be. There were new episodes today. The freaking finale. Let's be clear. But I'm here with you. Let's not be, watching let's it. be clear. I guarantee you we will do a I'm fucking, to, we'll do a poll. I bet you <laughs> in this, there's right now there is 285 people. I bet you there is less than 15 people that watch or give a shit about that show out of 285. That's because it's mostly men in here. Because of people with common sense and better things to do with their time than watch schmutt. I mean, it's entertaining. It's, and that's the truth. I mean, entertaining. If you call it that. It is entertaining. No. Me and Allison have. We, me and Allison get an actual like <laughs> knockdown. Dustin down. watches it, I think. Dr I think Sheila makes Dustin me, watch it. Me and Allison get knocked. At, if there ever was a fight me and Allison have, it's about shit like this. <laughs> me and Allison don't fight. But if we ever do f were to fight or the closest thing we get to a fight is this. Because I, I have like a deep-seated hatred for those types of shows. I don't think they should be on the air. I think it just rots your brain i think it's just horrible shit and they should all be burned at the stake <laughs> i hate it and uh i'm very passionate about it the how bad i hate it and allison loves it so we're always kind of busting each other's balls about it i like to turn on something at night that, that makes i don't you, have to pay close that makes you dumber attention to yeah that actually makes you lose brain cells maybe yeah because i use my brain a lot during the day and i don't feel mm. like using it at night to think about what's going on with the show. Okay. Then turn on um, fucking jungle sounds or something. Jungle sounds. White you noise. You want me to sit there and stare at jungle sounds? Yeah. Or watch like a, a fucking informational show. Watch a documentary. I do. Sometimes I watch murder documentaries. I, I you know, as much true, as I, as much, I watch true crime As much as it makes me fear for my life how much you love murder shows about how to kill your husband five different ways and not get caught, I would honestly rather you be stockpiling ways to kill me than watching that other shit. That's Listen, how bad I hate Love that is stuff. Blind is only on like twice a year. There's a guy with something. loafers on it, Allison. He had a loafers. He had a fucking loafers. <laughs> and like crop jeans, I think. He had a like short ass jeans and loafers. <laughs> That's his style now. Yeah. With the young kids. Yeah, if you just came a circle jerk where you're jerking off for your boyfriends, it's a fucking style. Hey, I mean, whatever floats your boat, you know? Jesus Christ. She's getting me fired up, y'all. Gufferino with the super chat. <laughs> What's up, my peeps? Sarah Bear posted on the Discord my pick of my bike at the World of Wheels. Early setup. Wish me luck. <laughs> nice, dude. Look on the Discord. I want to see Gufferino's thing. I want to see the old Guffy. Doctor, I always say Dr. Gun. Why am I so fucking dyslexic? <laughs> it's Gun Doctor, and almost every time I say Dr. Gun. He's, he's going to become Dr. Gunn. Kind of like Long Ash is Long Ass. <laughs> he's going to become Dr. Gunn because I just can't. <laughs> a woman's hoodie? I didn't even think women knew how to not steal their husband's hoodies. That's very true. I have all my own hoodies. I do wear a couple of his. 
Do you but have I all most, your own hoodies? Yeah, I mostly wear my own. And mine. I wear the the I wear the knife one you and wear, I wear, wear I wear the your like brand. Those are the only hoodies, hoodies I own. I, I, I know, but I only wear <laughs> those two, but I don't wear them that often. Oh. Like if I'm getting dressed like to go out or whatever, I wear my own hoodies. You know? See? Hell Dustin says, Hell no, we don't need Love is Blind Talk. See, she she don't make You're him, behind in the chat. She don't make him watch that shit. You're behind. Oh, oh, I bet you she does. I pretty sure he's watched it. Man, Dustin's like It doesn't mean he likes it. I but think I think he does watch it. I don't think I don't think so. Is it a nurse thing watching murder shows? No, I think it's just a woman thing. What? I think Piper asked, is it a nurse thing is watching a, murder shows? No, I think it's just a woman thing. I think it's a I I I'm just really into true crime. And you know what I was thinking about it the other day? What's that? When I was a kid, when I was like probably 10, me and my friend, her name was Melinda. Uh huh. She lived around the corner. We would, like, because you know, back in the '80s, we didn't have anything to do. Like, we were outside playing, like finding shit to do. And we used to walk around, and As we would did. go through like the ditch and like <laughs> the woods behind my house, and we would find like clues for things and clues. try, like an empty beer can or something. And then we would like look around and try to like piece together this like scene of what happened, who did that, how did that get here, kind of thing. You should do that. I was into true crime from an early age. You sh you should do that. Next time you go do that now. Next time you're thinking go about root watching trash and next time you think about Love Is Blind, go around the backyard and be like, how did this get here? <laughs> how did this? I probably could how, do it in our backyard. How, how did this dog turd get here? I wonder. <laughs> Uh, that looks a little fresh. What is There's, this random single sock? This single oh, sock. This Barbie that child. looks like a part of a CSI crime unit. <laughs> That's a good point. He's I really did, though. Rugged is watching Peaky Blinders. You should watch that instead of Love is Blind. I'm not into that. Yeah, because it's a good show. It's a good show. You're not into that. It might actually enrich your life instead of... I, I am into some shows, but I'm not into that. Look, he said no goddamn loafers. See what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy had on loafers, Allison. He had on loafers. Uh, he had a loafers and way too much product in his hair. I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm just fucking saying. Let me get caught up. Frankie said, how are your arms, Jeremy, after doing all those pull-ups in the last video? I'm telling you, dude, it wasn't my arms. My back was blown out. I couldn't, had to put install fucking like things on the toilet to help me sit down. No, uh, them, 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 them pull-ups were nothing, man. Nothing. Did I used to? Yeah, I'm Sheila, so, you too? What? She said that was my childhood. <laughs> story. I'm serious. We legit used to like, man, we had the best time. But we really did think we were like solving, solving mysteries. Why out am there. I lighting this? I need to light. It's fucking 830. And I used to love like uh, America's Most Wanted and like all of those things. Like I thought I was going to find somebody. We were going to find the murderer. We were gonna find him, take him down, <laughs> right on, right on my street, <laughs> right on your, right on your hood. <laughs> now, we don't, we don't have any B roll, but when we don't, we do the ghetto B roll, where we go here and I hold the cigar here, and then I show you the cigar, <laughs> like this. There's the B roll. Uh, the blind man, or the blind man, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the wise man. The blind man, the blind man's bluff was the fucking. Okay, it wasn't that so funny. funny. Was it that goddamn funny? Yes, it was. Look here, loafers. <laughs> She's fucking pissing me off tonight, guys. Her goddamn loafer talk. Lori said, "Wait, loafers are great for the summer." Jeremy, what the hell? Get out of here, loafers. Um, he doesn't. Hi, he doesn't know. Lori, Nicaragua style. Nicaraguan. Binder, Nicaraguan <laughs> filler, Corojo. Actually, this isn't a Corojo wrapper on this one, is it? Let me see. Let me make sure this is the Maduro version. Yeah, saying it's, it's a, I guess it's a Maduro, a Corojo Maduro wrapper. Uh, other than that, all Nicaragua. Saying medium full strength. It is made by Foundation Cigars. And Brian's notes on it are the Wise Man Maduro is an extension of the. Holy shit, I can't pronounce that. How do you say that word, Allison? 
Which one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there, <laughs> I don't there's know. lots of squiggles and wiggles. That's not above an English the... word. I yeah, don't it's know. not. Uh, line by Foundation. The Wise Man Maduro uses the same blend as the original, but wrapped in a Mexican San Andreas leaf. It's okay. So see, Brian is saying this is a Mexican San Andreas, not a Corojo. This one is wrapped in a Mexican San Andreas leaf instead of a Corojo 99. The difference between these cigars is stunning. This full-bodied, sweet and spicy cigar carries dark notes of chocolate, roasted nuts, espresso, leather, cracked pepper. Is an explosion of flavors. Explosion. This guy right here. It's going to explode in your mouth. <laughs> sounds so gay. Um... I think my nose is a little clogged up from being outside all day, honestly, because the, the fucking pollen here is ridiculous because I'm just getting mild barnyard. I know I say that a lot. You do. Because a lot of, a lot of cigars, the nose of them smells the same. Every now and then I get one where I'm like, ooh, I get a little berry or something weird. But a lot of times, I would say 80% of the time, it's like either brown paper bag, barnyard, or manure on the nose. When I get one that doesn't smell like that, I'm like pleasantly surprised. I'm like, oh, it's got some berry notes in it or something. You smell anything? You, you smell it? I smell your cologne. That's why I smell. I had to put on cologne because I had to take a whore bath. This is very petting zoo. <laughs> very. I'm, it's giving. It's giving goat. Baby goats. It's, 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 it's giving baby goats. Yeah. Lots of uh, zoo petting zoo. That's what I said. It was like barnyardy. Oh, but the nose is quite different. Is it? What are you getting on the nose? Like a... Yeah, like maybe a berry. A berry? You're maybe, getting berry on the nose. Maybe like a ch chocolate? Chocolate berry. I like it. I like it. Not. The, I don't get the barnyard on the, in the nose, but... Uh, Dustin, hey dudes, I'll give a pass on. Here you go. They are a little loaferish. They though, are Dustin. a little loaferish. They're a little loaferish, but they're a casual. They're a super they're a casual, casual loafer, and it's like a a, a beach they're a surfer. They're a laid back beach yeah. loafer. Yeah, it's. I'll yeah. give a pass on the hey dudes. I don't wear hey dudes, but Tony wears hey dudes. I know a lot of my friends wear hey dudes. Yeah. Uh, I'll give a pass on the hey dudes. That slip is slip on vans are not loafers. No. I wear those. I'm talking about like leather loafers with no socks. That vibe. They got little tassels on them and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got little fucking, little fucking, what are those? What are those? What are those little fucking I think things? Maurice wears the loafers. Maurice, I'm sorry, I dude. I bet you he pulls them off, too. I'm sorry if you like the loafers, Maurice. I still love you. I can't get behind the loafers, though. I can't. I can't do it, bro. I can't. The loafers. I can't. I'm like flip-flops or boots. I have two types of footwear. Flip-flop, boot. That, that's it. If it's boots for everything, if it's too hot for boots, flip flops. Uh, he's not lying. I mean, that's that's it. Leather loafers with the buckle, he says. A buckle, so that's like a pilgrim loafer. Let's see here. Here's the thing about Crocs. I see a lot of people talking shit about Crocs, and I don't wear Crocs much anymore. I do own a pair. I used to wear them. The thing about Crocs is they are ugly. They are ugly. They do look like they're corrective shoes for like somebody with a foot problem. <laughs> like, but I will. So did the Hoka tennis shoes I wear. I will say they're very utilitarian though. Like, they if you they're good for like. I mean, the kids are super into them. For, yeah, all the time, I mean, but... like if it's hot and you need your feet to breathe a little bit, or you're going to be in a wet environment, like if you're going to be on a boat, if you're going to be at the beach, because you can use them as like water shoes too. You can just yeah. You could put them in four wheel drive. They're... You put that. You put that strap <laughs> over. You put the whole four wheel drive, and then you they're can use, great for the beach. You can use them as water shoes. You don't step on a fucking crab or something, and then you can you know they dry right out because they're rubber. They don't really stay wet. Um, but they are ugly as fucking sin i, w I will a hundred percent agree with you on that you gonna light that cigar or what uh i mean i might uh, 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 uh. <sighs> super chat from the mass king shaggy rogers thank you for the super chat <laughs> buddy jeremy a peach flavored cigar uh no you know what Allison loves? And this is another debate me and Allison have on a regular basis. Uh, thank you for Super Chat, buddy. Uh, she likes the peach rings. The gummy peach rings. The best. 
Allison is a big fan of the gummy peach rings. I say the gummy peach rings uh, taste like perfume. Fave snacks for sweet is the gummy peach rings. Okay, I'm just going to say. They have to be certain in, brands, in, in, not the off brand. I'm just going to say I'm going to interrupt. Uh, in the last What's 20, my other favorite? In the last 20 minutes, you've said fave and it's giving. I can't say fave. And it's giving. Mm. What's my other fave snack besides you said, you said, gummy peach rings? You said fave. My other favorite snack. Are, are we on a road trip? Just my another favorite snack. Hot fries. That's right. Hot fries. Gummy peach rings, hot fries. But that's pretty much only road trip for you. Diet right? cherry Coke. But that... The best. Or, or like Coke Zero. Cherry Coke Zero. It's but that's best. pretty much... Oh, that is nutty right off the rip. I mean, that I immediately got some nuts all up in my mouth. Nothing. Nothing. Nuts in your mouth? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading I was reading some. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Terrible walking on wet surfaces, really? Yeah. Flip flops or vans in the summer. Yeah. That's Same. immediately giving me like leathery nutty vibes. Um, but I'm I'm gonna let that warm up before I give my thoughts. I have no uh, notes on this because I did not pre-smoke it. Uh, so we're going to do this one live. Got n got, I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. Um, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no explosion. I, I know, I, I, Sheila, I know Flav is a millennial term. It's why I don't like it. I, I mean, like it's it. just an, I mean, it's just a shortened favorite. It's not really. Is that good. Sheila Sheila? I've been saying fave like forever. Is that Sheila Sheila or is that a different yeah, Sheila? That's Sheila. That's a different picture of Sheila. She changed. I think she changed her picture. People, when people change their fucking profiles, it screws me up. Because I, I get, I like partially look at the profile, partially look at the name. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when people change the, um, the profile, it messes me up. Yes, Doug. They do still make Andy Cap hot fries, but those are not the ones that I get. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just, those were... You're, At one time, those were your I jams. Now like you like the chesters. No, I didn't, it wasn't the Andy Cap though. No, it was the uh, Toms. 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 The Toms hot fries were the my favorite. For the longest time, and then she I could was never find anti Chester it. Cheeto. Are they right. Chester Cheeto or Chester's? Che yes. Chester's. Yes. And then now she likes the Chester's best because you can't ever find the Toms. And once but I we, went, but we found them. Yeah, but then they weren't they didn't taste right anymore cuz I was used to the Chesters. I'm just so saying. now that's that's what I do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Fuck it, we'll do but it live. They're good. That's right. That's right. Leathery nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, I I don't I mean it an old man's nuts, would they taste leathery? See, I would think an old man's <laughs> nuts would be more like... I think they'd be very, very delicate. I would... <laughs> like, I was thinking they would be like... They would they would be like medic medicated tasting. Like, medicated? Like, 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 like icy like hot? You, like, you know old guys have got some like icy menthol? hot... <laughs> some icy hot or some kind of cream or something. They've got some kind of rash, some kind of skin problem. They're old. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of powder. You know what I'm saying? I would think uh, I would not think an old man's nuts necessarily, Sheila. I would think maybe a cowboy's nuts. He's always on, he's on a saddle all day. You know what I'm saying? It's probably leathery. Leathery, yeah. I you know can what see I'm saying? That. Okay. I, I mean, if I had to equate it to a, a, a dude's nuts, if we're going that route and going off the rails at <laughs> eight thirty nine, as people drop out of the live stream. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was like, all right, these guys are weird. These guys are weird. I thought this was a serious cigar channel. He's talking about cowboys' testicles. He lit the cigar with a Zippo, and now he's talking about cowboy nuts. What is going on over here? <laughs> Old man nuts are like wet toilet tissue and smells of mint. <laughs> Smell so of, I've heard. So, so I've November heard. November whiskey. <laughs> uh, okay, she said, okay, okay. An old man that tanned too much. So like, <laughs> so like, what was that guy that used to tan? He had the George, George something, George. I don't know. George uh, Nicholas 
Finally made a live stream. I'm sorry, Nicholas, that you finally made the live stream and what you came into is us talking about old dudes nuts. I apologize. I apologize. That was your first uh, your first encounter, Nicholas. <laughs> but welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Oh <laughs> man. The whiskey tonight. I'm probably not going to drink a ton of whiskey tonight because I'm I'm like dehydrated from being outside working all day. Uh, I am going to taste a little bit of the whiskey that uh, Travis, Dar- aka Dark Side EMT, got me. Um, because he was kind enough to give me a bottle. So I am going to get a little sip of that tonight. But right now I'm hydrating. Hydrating. I should have brought more to drink because I um, sucked that all down. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, uh. He said the flavor of this cigar is salty and sweet. Mm. See, we're going back to nuts. Salty and sweet. <laughs> Caden said, how's the truck going? How's the truck coming along? That's what I was working so on we all day. what we were doing today. Not you know me, what? he. I just helped with one. You know thing. what? <laughs> now, this could be the power of suggestion, old uh, Shaggy Rogers. But now that you say that, I am getting a little bit of a briny thing going on here. Hold on. Briny, a little, hey? A little briny. George Hamilton. That was him. Thank you, Mike. George Hamilton. Yeah, it's earthy leather. There's definitely a nutty thing going on there. I would almost say like a chestnut, though, or a walnut. Not really a pecan, not really a peanut. It's more of like a a chestnut or a walnut flavor. You're trying to decipher the type of nut you're tasting. Well, there's different. Peanuts taste very different than like a... What Brian describes is like a waxy nut, like a walnut or something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like a walnut. You don't like a walnut? Mm-mm. Um, Not really. I don't know if it's power of suggestion because of what Shaggy said or what, but I do. I am getting a briny note now that he said that. It's like a little bit of a salty brininess. Chris said he loves all the Bold Fortune products. Ah, Chris. I'm glad, brother. Glad to hear it, man. You got a good-looking beard, too. Yeah, man. I, that's the feedback we got from that pretty much unanimously was everybody likes it, and their fucking wife, my, or their wife loves it. My buddy uh, Tom, his exact quote was, every time I wear that, I get my pecker wet. Yeah. Well, you know, when he was picking out this, not picking out, but like, I don't know, curating the, that scent... Uh huh. My input was involved. Her input was involved. You know? We let some other people smell so, it. So um, we're doing that. We got co- men opinions and women's opinions. So we made yep. sure that it was universally appealing. Um, I basically gave them what I wanted. I, I told them the, the notes that I wanted in the fragrance. I was like, you know, I wanted this, 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 this. I also gave them some cologne references, some colognes that I liked that had similar profiles. So I gave them two or three clone references and then the notes that I wanted. And uh, they kind of worked their magic and came back, came back with two or three different samples. We narrowed it down to the one that I liked. We tweaked it a little bit because I wanted it a little bit stronger. And then we... Like she said, I let a bunch of people smell it before we locked it in. I let her smell it, a bunch of friends and other females smell it, and everybody loved it. And uh, thus far, everybody says Old Money used to be their favorite. And since a Bold Fortune came out, Bold, Fo- Bold Fortune is it? <laughs> fucking A, stroke. That was number one or two for the night. <laughs> was that number one or two? You just tried to keep going. I did. I was like, Bold, 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 bold. bold Fortune is their new favorite. And um, old money was your favorite too. Old money was my favorite. Yeah, and I still love old money. No, old don't, money's don't great. Wrong, old money is 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 my second favorite, and I still always keep some of it around because if I wear Bold Fortune all the time, I start going nose blind to it. Yeah, because I just wear it constantly. So I'll wear the Bold Fortune for like a week, and then I'll wear Old Money for like a week to give my nose a break, and then I'll I'll rotate back. But those are the only two fragrances I ever get from Beard Brand is Old Money and Bold Fortune. <laughs> You're great. So anyway, long story long, Chris, I'm glad you like it. Glad your wife likes it. Happy to hear it, my friend. Um, we should, right now we got three. We've got the wash and the utility wash, utility condi- uh, softener. We've got the utility balm, and then we just released about a week or two ago the utility oil. 
I think we're also going to do some salt spray if you're into that kind of thing, using that in your hair or beard. And uh, I think we're going to do the mustache wax. And then I think that'll be pretty much the whole lineup. I don't know if we're going to do the bar soap because I feel like if we have the utility wash, why well, do the soap? Plus, they were having a hard time with the soap. For some reason, the fragrance mixture that's in Bold Fortune, when they were trying to make the bars, they weren't solidifying. They weren't coming together the way they should. So they weren't having good success translating that into the bar soap. And I was like, well, it's not that big of a deal. We have the utility wash. So we may or may not ever have the bar soap, but we have the utility wash, the softener, oil, balm, sea salt spray. And then I believe we're going to do the mustache wax. So that'll be pretty much the entire line line and uh that, that uh beard brand does all in the bold fortune which is pretty good stuff anyway um uh, yeah, yeah. guffarino like ben gay yes guffy thank you for there super you chat. go and yes ben gay is the, <laughs> is the old man nut scent i was speaking of <laughs> spades appreciate the super chat buddy today is the anniversary of the fall of the alamo please drink a toast to the brave texans that lost their lives remember the alamo very nice spades nice. i will have a toast with how about this how about this shit spades <laughs> i'm gonna have a toast to the people at the alamo with a texas whiskey wow get some of that for that shit Texas whiskey. Whiskey straight from Texas, made in Waco. That's what I'm going to drink. So how about that, Spades? How about that? Um, let's say here. I'll say here. Hey, look at this. See? Travis said, which makes the drink tonight appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. These guys are ahead of me. They're ahead of me. Stroke count is rising, Derek. It is, man. It is. <laughs> Especially when I've been busy, I think it gets worse because I get a little tired, and I think it's even worse when I'm tired. I don't know. Is it worse when I'm tired or when I'm, like, wired? It's both. Yeah. Those are the two. It's both. Those are the two ends of the spectrum when it's the yeah. worst. Yeah. And it's either, like, your wor like mixing your words all up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Or it, or it's like the uh. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> That's when I'm tired. Uh, That's when I'm tired and my brain is just done. Uh. <laughs> and I just uh what uh. Or that's like first thing in the morning when you're not awake yet. That's because here's the deal. Allison gets up before me. She's a little bit. Of it. She likes to get up and have some alone time in the mornings before everybody gets up. So she gets up pretty early. I get up right when I need to. Like five minutes before we got to leave. Right. So I'm still in the just woke up fog. I'm trying to get some caffeine in my body, you know, all the things. And Allison's been awake for like an hour or more. So she's like, -da 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 -da. and she's firing questions at me. So what about this? What are you doing? And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> like, I'm Mor like, what? Morning is my like busiest time. And That's see, my time when I get the most done. I'm the most productive. I'm checking emails, answering emails, doing shit, signing things, whatever. <laughs> Neil, that's not a good idea. But what? Neil, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Neil says, new live stream game. Drink every time Jeremy has a stroke and see if you can go to work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you will not. Don't <laughs> recommend that. <laughs> Don't. Re you could probably go to work in the morning after it if you're like under 28. Yeah. If you're 28 or less, you could probably do that and still go to work. If you've if you've surpassed 30, you're not going to work the next day. You just don't metabolize it the same way, man. Oh, you know what? I haven't. I've heard seen a couple of you guys. Jacob just said it, and somebody else said uh, you should. Uh, Ivan M M M Meister said uh, you should do a clone. I don't know. That would I, be awesome. I don't know if Beard, is Beard Brand even still doing their clones. I don't know. I don't know if they, I don't know if they're still doing their colognes. Up. Yeah, look it up real quick. I don't know if they're still doing their colognes or not. If they are, I'll definitely talk to them about it because that shit smells fantastic. I know Beard Brand did colognes for a while, and uh, if they are, then that could be something fun. Um, <laughs> Listen to yeah. Sheila's so aggressive. Dustin, shut your face. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, they've got this eau de parfum. You gotta love Sheila. Man. Okay, so they do. All right. Well, I'll, they I'll, only have it in a couple of cents. 
No, I guess old money. I don't know. It's so I don't know if they're. St- I don't know if they're still Temple doing it. Temple Smoke and Four Vices. I know they've changed manufacturers of some of their stuff, and they had some like, you know, growing pains with switching manufacturers and stuff. And uh, which Balcones? It is um, this one. Lineage. Lineage. We're going to be drinking some of that here very shortly. In fact, I'll leave that dude right out here on the table with us. Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to show you guys this. So you guys know the Zippo's coming soon, probably maybe later this month. Uh, the Oh, this was in my pocket, a sweaty pocket all day, so it's a little wrinkly and gross. But these are the new red bandanas that we did. They're just like the other ones we did, but they're a more traditional red and white. I actually, Allison says she actually likes the red and white better than she liked the black. Yeah. I really like the black monotone kind of thing. This is more of like a traditional vibe though. You know, red with uh, white writing. But uh, yeah, those are coming out. We've got those. I think we'll, we're dropping those next week. Um, I was using this all. It's got this thing. It's a little loud. It's been <laughs> in my back pocket. I've been wiping my hands and sweat on it all day. So it's a little funky. But um, that's coming out next week. But uh, what was, where was I going with that? See, this is what happened. Guess y'all. who's here? Who? Beef. Beavers in the house. Do we haven't seen it? I'm telling you. Oh, was it which balconies was I answer? I don't remember. I don't remember what how I got into the co- bandana conversation. Um, Beaver. Ever since Beaver's been married, he has been busy doing his m- marily, maritally, m- marital, marital. He said he's been working the second shift. Oh. oh. Ooh, working the second shift. Well, it's good to see you, Beeb. We miss you, buddy. Just popping in to say hi. Well, I appreciate you, dude. We miss you. I wish you were still in here. Hopefully, you can find some time to stop in, man. We miss talking to you and all of your rhetoric. We miss the rhetoric. All mm-hmm. the peoples love you. Uh, we tried to summon you a few times. You'll, they'll beaver punch, beaver punch, beaver punch, uh-huh. and then you don't show up, and they're very upset. Uh, oh, I know what I was saying. I was going to show you guys. So. Oh, the lighters. The lighters. These are coming out like next week. The Zippos are still being made, but we're doing the brass Zippo. I've showed you it a bunch. My question is, when they made the brass one, they made me a silver one too, and I'll show it to you guys. And when we sell out of the brass ones, would you guys, let me get rid of this comment real quick. Would you guys be interested in, oh, this is not going to come across well with the light. Ah, this isn't going to come across well with the light. I'm not going to be able to get it in the light. The lighting's not going to be good. The lighting is horrible with this. I can't get it in. Put it in the dark. That's probably about the best. Would you guys be interested in a silver? I've almost always done brass in the past, but they sent me one of these samples of a silver version. It's like an antique silver kind of situation with the same. So it's basically the same logo as the brass, but it's the silver version. They sent me a sample. Uh, they asked if I want it. I'm like, yeah, sure, send me one. You know, I'll check it out if it's any good and people, there's any interest. But I'd be curious uh, if you guys would be interested in a silver one. I personally love brass. I've been carrying this one for a while, the last week or so, though. I will say the brass one is awesome because it comes with this, like, the brass one, that is, comes with um, this, like, pre-antiqued finish. But it very quickly wears off. And then you're left with this very, like, the only part it stays is in the creases and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of, like, uneven and stuff. So it looks very genuinely like some of my Zippos that I've had for 10 years. Like, when you first get it, it's like a a very even, vintage, aged look. But then after probably only being in my pocket for two or three weeks, it takes on this really natural, like, this lighter looks like it's 20 years old. Yeah, I really like the new brass one. Um, I dig it a lot. But anyway, curious to see what you guys think about the uh, silver. If it's something you guys want, because if you, if something you guys are interested in, after we sell out of the brass ones, I'll, I'll I'll do a batch of the silver if it's something you guys are into. Cigar O Prepper, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Sorry for the late login. Smash that like button and love the beard brand stuff. Well, thanks, buddy. Don't worry about being late. As long as you're here is all that matters. Hey, babe, do we you know? We appreciate you. Do you know when um, the Cigar Bibles will be back? Soon. Soon. Okay. Uh, I thought so, but... Yeah. Uh, we put in the order for them a while back, and I don't know the exact date, 
but um, I would imagine within the next two to three weeks ish, um, some point this month, hopefully it, um, like I said, the, it, it, the, the order has been in for a while and I think it normally takes them about four to six weeks to turn. Oh, you know what it was? We put it in longer than that ago and they said they were having a problem getting the pages to dry because they had a really wet season and the pages weren't drying as quickly as they normally do because of the humidity. Oh, level. that's right. That's right. Um, but I, I, but yes, soon. They've already been ordered for a while. We're just waiting on them. I would say any time now. So we will be getting more of those in fo show, fo show. Uh, so a lot of people said they they like both. Like both the lighters. Of, oh, both of them. Yeah. Betty nice. Well, the the brass ones are already being made, so we're for sure doing a drop of the brass ones. It just depends on once those are gone, do we do another batch of the brass ones? Is the brass the more popular? Do we do something different? I don't want to get a whole do batch. Do you have the, the brass one in your pocket? No, it's downstairs. Oh, okay. Um, I don't want to do a whole batch of the uh, second or a, after the brass ones sell out. I don't want to do a batch of the silver ones if there's only like 15 people that want a silver one, and then it's going to take us six months to sell them out. Because I like to keep them. Turning and burning. I showed the one Zippo. Do you mean the other, the brass one, at Matt? Somebody was saying, like, can you show, like, your one that's, like, kind of worn in? Oh, it's in my truck. I can go get it. It's in my truck. That'll just leave us here to talk about Love is Blind. Mm. <laughs> just kidding, because I haven't watched the new episode. Brass is badass. I agree, Sheila. I don't agree with you on the Love is Blind stuff, but I agree with you on brass. <laughs> Yeah, see, that was kind of my thing, Travis. Is I, I mean, I like this. I've been carrying it for a few days, and we'll see if it wears kind of the way the brass one did, and this this finish they put on it starts to wear pretty quick, and then it gets this really natural patinaed look to it. But um, I don't know. I, I've just always had a soft spot for brass, me personally. Copper, they don't do really. They've only got one or two copper ones, uh, Darren. Although we did do a, a batch of the copper ma good. man cards. We will be dropping a, a, a batch of the copper man cards before too long. But the, the Zippos, they only make like one or two. They won't let you really do much with them other than just have them plain. And they're crazy expensive. Like they want bananas money for the copper ones. So I don't know. Oh, that smells good. Bum, 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 bum. Bob Coney's makes good stuff. Damn, that does smell good. It's got a real sweet smell to it. Um, Balcones, I was telling Travis, we were talking about it down there. Most Texas whiskey, I like Texas whiskey. Most of it, I find, has this note. It all has a note in it, and I call it the Texas funk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I think it has something to do with how hot it is in Texas and how the whiskey ages there because of the heat. Because almost every... Still Austin don't taste like that. No, you know what? You're right. It does not. Still Austin does not have the Texas funk. But like Garrison Brothers does. Several other Texas whiskeys I've tried. They have this like... It's almost kind of like a... Like a dirty musky leather mixed with the sweetness of like a prune or a raisin or something. It's a little sweet. It's a little musky. It's a little funky, but it's not a bad thing. I mm -hmm. like it, but it's, 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 but it's, it's un unique. It's too. unique. And it's, yeah. I only ever get it in Texas whiskeys. <laughs> hmm. uh, Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one does not smell like it has it though. And you're right. I didn't even think about the fact none of those still Austin whiskeys actually that'd be a good question don't forget guys uh allison will be next week we've got the distiller the head distiller from uh still austin coming on the live stream yes and we will be putting out you will put it out like early we'll put it out like friday i'll have allison maybe on a rope where we're driving down to uh orlando i'll have her do it in the car uh put out the questionnaire for you guys. So if, if you're in the Patreon, if you have any questions that you want to ask him, any distiller whiskey stuff, either just distiller questions or stuff specifically to still Austin or their process or whatever, uh, we'll put out and make sure you, you put your questions in and we'll make sure we read those to him and get your answers. Yes, sir. But that's one I want to ask him. 
Yeah. If he knows about the how Texas, do you not get the Texas uh, if he funk? knows about the Texas <laughs> funk, if he knows what I'm talking about, and how they avoid the Texas funk. Not I shouldn't say how they avoid it because I, it's not a bad thing, um, but I wonder what what's different. It's interesting. I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm caught up. I'm caught up on the comments. Let me get one more sip. Let me get a little bit of water. Oh, I got a super chat. Hold on. We got to get that. E. You were the thirstiest dude tonight. I'm thirsty, man. I've been out there working. going from one bottle to the other bottle. I've been out there working all day, man. It's hot. been sweating. Are they both water? Why'd you No, switch? that's Dr. Pepper. That's oh. water. <laughs> um... Let me get the super chat before we do it. Damon, appreciate the super chat, buddy. Hope you're all having a great week. Been a while since I've been able to sit down and catch a live. Any word on the number? Smash that like button. Damon, thank you, buddy. Appreciate the super chat. No word on the number. We sent it off to the new factory, and it got stuck in customs for like... <laughs> like two months. Two months. and then they, a long time. They just got it probably like a couple weeks ago. We need to follow up yeah. on it, but... Honestly, we've had a bunch of other products we've been pushing and I haven't. So, unfortunately, no, I do not have an update on that particular product. No. Um, let's see. Appreciate the super chat, nevertheless, though, buddy. Uh, okay, I'm caught up. No super chats. Let me get a couple of viskies. Couple viskies. Are you going to take a little sippy? Yeah, I'll have a little sippy. Little sippy. Little sippy. Little sippy, sippy. Glug, 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 glug. Spilling shit everywhere. Look at me. That's why it's good to have a bandana. Just wipe, <laughs> wipe stuff up with it. This thing's gonna smell like a straight dude. Sweat, working outside, whiskey, cigars. My grandfather used to keep a hanky. That's different. A handkerchief. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's just let's just fucking. And it was always in his recliner. Let's He'd just okay okay hold on. I'm Let, not saying that's what this is. I mean. It, you know, it's like similar, but no. But let's just not. The old man. This wasn't a back pocket uh, handkerchief. No, his this is like his... a bandana that I stick in my back pocket when I'm working. Yeah. Uh, wipe your hands. And, and it gives me something to wipe my hands on, or from sweat, and I can wipe my sweat or, or whatever. I keep I also. You're not keep, blowing your nose in it. No, I'm not blowing my fucking nose in it. I mean, I guess in an emergency if I had to, <laughs> but like no, uh, I wipe my mouth with it if I get a little, you know, whatever. But. um yeah, I keep it in my back pocket when I'm working or if I'm even if I'm barbecuing. A lot of time I'll stick one in my back pocket. Uh, I, I love a good bandana. <laughs> same reason we're doing shop rags, too. It's kind of the same thing. You stick it in your back pocket and you got a little shop rag, wipe your hands on and stuff. Uh, there's Kyle. He's the one that won a red bandana. Did you get it yet? Let me know if you got it, Kyle, because I sent your info over to our... Yeah, that is, this is the red dudes. one. This is the red one you won, Kyle, if you haven't got it yet. This is the one that's coming your way. Well, shit. I keep doing it backwards. It'll look just like this. It won't be as wrinkly because it won't have been in my back pocket all day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just one just like that. It's a good one. These are a little bit thicker than the last ones. American-made cotton, American-made printer, 100% American. American-made Mer American bandana. Uh, the shop rags are coming, bud. Don't have a date on when they're coming, but we're moving along. We got the designs nailed down. We got the uh, rags picked out. We got them and uh, exclusive. Now they have their own print shop there at exclusives. So they're going to start printing them and stuff here pretty soon. I'm letting this breathe for a second, by the way. It smells good. Wow, it? this is really very different than some of the other balcony stuff I've had. I don't know if I've had... Any. Have I? Balconis? Mm-hmm. No. I got one I up there. Okay. I'll let you taste it. I've got the one up there. This one's a little lower proof, too, which is good. Because uh, I hate going straight into barrel proofs. No, wait. I think I smell the Texas. I got a little bit. I got a little whiff. Did you get, uh -huh. did you get a little bit of the funk? Do you keep your mouth open when you sniff? I try to remember to do it. Yeah. I know you're supposed it, to. It makes a difference. 
Because if you close your mouth, yeah, you could smell certainly. But if you just leave your mouth like open it, a little it, bit, it hits your palate yeah. or something. There's it's sweet. Ooh, it's sweet. There's a little. What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm getting. Mm. Oh, it's like. Is there it's almost, like citrus. It's like a little bit of it's citrusy, like almost like a little eucalyptus. Citrus, orange, almost like a little it mint. Sm it's, it's <laughs> it smells like, like my airborne. <laughs> almost like a little minty. And then underneath, there's that little bit of that base, like leathery, funky kind of like thing that I talk about. Yeah, it's like a little bit of... Um... It's sweet, but it's also like a little, like, it's got a little funk on it. A little, little... I get a lot of citrus. There is a lot. Of it. All right. Let me, let me like get, orange and. Let me get one more swig of water. It really does help to have your mouth open. That's for sure. It does, doesn't it? I'm telling you. It, uh, people, uh, people don't know, man. If like if you're, if you've never. I don't always remember to do it, but when I do, it definitely makes a difference in being able to pick, pick up. Yeah, well, because, you know, you're, you're sensitive. Excuse you. Winnie. Winnie just barged in. Hang on. What is that other note that I'm getting in there? Is it off the cigar? Am I, like, imagining it? Am I getting, like, a walnut situation? <laughs> Maybe it's the cigar. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Did you want to come visit your mama? Hmm? He did. She did. He did. It's that time of night. He's like, where's my mom? Listen. <laughs> I gotta put this down so they can hear. No, I won't do anything. <laughs> I think you're going to have some Boston ASMR. Yeah, he's just... Licking. Normally he does... Uh, uh, he makes these fucking... He's not doing mm, it. He's not. Okay. Getting this whiskey. I do smell a funkiness though. Mm hmm It's in there. It's nice. Mm. It's got it's soft. It's softer than I thought. The nose and the palate are different. The 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 palate or the nose, I thought it was gonna be brighter. And it's got a little bit of brightness in there, but it's it's got some uh, some de it's got some uh, lower notes. It's got it's got more, it's got more bass. I thought it was going to be more treble. It's got more bass. There's a nice sweetness. But are in you there. all about that bass? All about that bass. About that bass. <laughs> it's got a, it's it's like a plummy, pruny, raisiny, dried fruit, jammy sweetness to it. There is a little bit of like a citrusy note, though, I feel like. No? I don't get it on the, like, when I drink it. N not near as much, but I f it's faint. But I feel like it's still maybe a little bit there. You don't like the microphone? It's definitely got that Texas yeah. funk. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, you see what I'm saying? It's like an earthy, leathery, but it's sweet. Maybe it's a little bit of tobacco in there, like a little leather, little tobacco, but like at the same time, some sweetness, like some jammy, dark fruit sweetness. Mm. No? No, no. What's uh, What does Balcone say about this? Let's see if Balconius has any notes on it. What's this stuff called lineage? Mm. Mm 
Lineage. Balcones. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Really? I like it. Oh, God. <laughs> Age restricted. Are you 21? Um, let me see. Let me see. Lay down, Winnie. Lay down. Sweet and adult sourdough. Hold on. Sourdough. Hold, hold on. Hold, no. Hold on. Hold the fuck. And you call yourself a sourdough queen. Sourdough starter. No. Sourdough starter. And cream soda. That's that's the smell. Yeah, the nose. Oh, I thought you were saying something about Bruised that. banana and peaches. Bruised banana could be that like dark the sweetness fruitiness. I'm talking the fruitiness. Um I they're not saying anything about I did not smell sourdough you, starter. You, you know what the 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 citrusy like minty flavor I was saying you know how sourdough starter can almost have a it little has like an acidic yeah um, that could be the 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 flavor that I'm I'm talking about taste caramelized sweetness soft oak manuka honey chestnuts and a hint of red wine reduction see the soft oak and the manuka honey it could be that dark I get that red wine that, reduction I don't get the red wine reduction. I get the caramelized sweetness, soft oak, manuka, honey. Uh, finish of pineapple upside down cake, creamy Vietnamese tea linger, and a soft finish. It is a very soft. Of the balconies I've had, this is one of the softer, kind of easier drinking ones. It's very good. Travis, I appreciate it, buddy. I like it. I think it's very good. Allison said she's on the fence. I say it's good. Allison really likes rise though so yeah it's it, it's a tough if it's not a rye she's always kind of like eh. um z-man appreciate the it's super chat but twan twan 20 on the z-man appreciate you love your content brother my retired nurse rocks and all nurses rock <laughs> thanks for the stream cheers you too yes nurses do rock she and all nurses are freaking angels because <laughs> let me tell you what they have to put up with some shit Appreciate the super chat, buddy. Literally. Literally. Oh, Gufferino's got panties coming off. So did Dustin. Dustin's got... A long time ago. I haven't been smoking this very much. Ooh, I need to do a cigar sandwich with this whiskey. See how it goes. We also need to do our little... Hmm. Our sponsor chat. Yeah. Yeah, it's about halfway through. It's about. It's about. Hmm. Hmm. What? I'm doing my cigar sandwich. Oh. Hmm. What's Much sweeter with the cigar. I mean, sweetness was probably amped up almost twofold with the cigar. There is that honey flavor that they talked about. I don't know specifically what man, man, Manuka honey tastes like, but I do get this like deep. And I described it as like a jammy dark fruit, but I could definitely see it being like a caramelized, like honey. It's that deep, dark brown sugar. To me, there's a little bit of like a fruity jamminess in there though, which they don't mention, but maybe that's like the red wine flavor mixed with yeah. it that I'm getting. Cause it's like a fruity note mixed yeah. with the dark flavor. Um, and they do say chestnuts. And I was saying earlier, there was a little bit of a nuttiness and maybe it was just because of the cigar, but they do in the notes say chestnut. So maybe that's, that's a, a note that's actually in the whiskey. Who knows, but it's very good. It's even better with the cigar. I'm still going to be working on Allison y'all a bunch of y'all. I saw all the comments. I even looked at the comments that people wrote in the after watch stuff. And they're like, yes, Allison, start smoking cigar. Oh, what? Oh. The girls want you to I smoke the cigars know. with them. The girls look one cigar a week is not going to hurt you. I'm not saying that it's going to hurt me. I think you would like it. I think you would grow to appreciate it with the whiskey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. While we're talking about whiskey, though, we do want to take a second, a quick second, because like I said, we do have the new sponsors of the live stream, Blind Bears. I want to take a quick second to thank those guys for sponsoring the live streams. It really does help make this a better situation for us and stay on top of it. Because, of course, if something's making money, <laughs> it's a little easier to invest time in it. I mean, I would invest time in it regardless because I love hanging out with you guys. But it definitely helps uh, when we can make a little money doing it and pay them bills. Always you know? helps. Um, but And especially within this company that... Yeah. We think it's cool. I mean, it was somebody we'd worked we with. We think all our companies are cool, but. I don't work with companies I don't think are cool. That's true. We were, me and my brand guy. That's why it's talk, an easy yes. Me and uh, my brand guy were talking today, the guy that does my negotiations, Rockwell. We were talking today, and there's two or three he brought to me, and I was like, nope, eh. nope. Nope. Uh, and people like, oh, well, you need your brand, your money. I'm like, look, I, I don't think you guys realize how much shit I turned down. Yeah. I only do the stuff that I like, and I like the companies, and I think. A, I use the company. Yeah. And B, I think it would be something cool for the people. Yeah. But Blind Barrel is an example of that. We did the video a long time ago. Really cool guys. What they do is once a quarter, they send out a little box and it has four whiskeys and samples in it. And they're just labeled one, two, three, four. They don't have any branding, no labeling, no nothing. And it's a fun little thing. Me and Allison did it together. There's plenty in the bottles for you to do it with two. It's fun to do it as like a double date kind yeah. of situation. You could probably do it with up to, I would say you could maybe squeeze four people out of it, but for sure two people. There's more, oh, yeah. there's more than enough whiskey for two people to share and do a flight. And then you just go through, you taste them, write your notes and stuff. And then afterward, there's an app. There's, you can scan the QR code and it shows you what each bottle is. And then if you're a member, it gives you the option if you would like, if you enjoyed one of them to purchase the bottle. Uh, at a and they're all like kind of rare or like hard to find, like unique bottles. They're not bottles that you could just go and like buy at your local liquor store. And normally, so. the if you're a member, normally the price they sell the bottle for is actually less than what you could buy it for at the distillery. Yes. So it's a cool way to try new whiskeys, expand your palate. You know, people who are always saying, oh, I don't taste this in whiskey. I've always said flights are a great way to expand your palate and start getting those notes and whiskeys because you have, you're drinking four of them in a row yeah. and it gives you, you a can good taste the difference. Yeah. It gives you like pick you up on different You taste things. this one and you're like, yeah, this is whiskey. Then you taste another one. And you're like, Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. That one's way smokier than this one. Or I this think that's when I started finally right. kind of like figuring things out and started liking things more when I was able to kind of compare mm -hmm. in a lineup. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a cool it's cool. It's a, it's a and cool they're a small thing. business too, which is good to support. American small business. They do cool stuff. They have cool bottles in there. Great way to find new whiskeys, expand your palate, have fun, get your wife involved. If you're trying to get your wife or your friends in, in whiskey because you can do it as a, a together. It's more fun to do with people. Um, just a cool thing. So definitely yeah. check it out. We'll put links down Link below. Link is below. There's a code for 10% off if you want to do it. There you go. And we will be doing more with these guys. So uh, they only put out a new box once a quarter. And once a quarter when they put out a new box, we'll actually be doing the full like blind tasting on the live stream. Blind tasting, another thing about blind tastings is, you know, we've said it before. Blind tastings are a great way to cut the bullshit. Yeah. How many times have we done blind tastings and we were like, whoa. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I mean. Like I said, that's what got me into into whiskey. I feel like, you know, it's just cool, man. Yeah, I dig it. So definitely check those guys out. Great guys. Links below. Love them. All right, done. And mm -hmm. and end scene. <laughs> Back to the cigar. Puff and p puff puff. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Long Ash said there's a... I think I saw that. Where did I see that? He said there's a cigar company that has a similar thing, and it's just a QR code on the band. So you smoke the cigars, you take your notes, and there's a QR code. Oh, cool. Yeah. I th it's a cool method, I think. Yeah. You know, it's it, very cool. It I cut, like it. I it, think it's awesome. It cuts through all the bullshit. I loved it. Let me tell you something. I fucking you generally do not like Canadian whiskey. Okay. Yeah. Most Canadian whiskey, I just don't like it. I have not found a good one. But if I'm not mistaken, I'd have to go back and watch that video again that we did because that was about how was that six or eight months ago we did that video? Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. 
Wasn't one of our favorites a Canadian whiskey? I think it was. I'm almost actually. positive one of our favorites was a Canadian whiskey. Yeah. And it was by far the best Canadian whiskey I've ever had. Because I'm not a big fan of Canadian whiskeys. Normally, I don't like them. And the Canadian whiskey that was in that box was delicious. Why won't it? Delicious. This is pissing me off. I'm trying. What are you trying to do? I was trying to scroll up and read something. Boo, 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 boo. What were you trying to read? What were you trying to read? Nothing. What were you trying to read? Winston, we need to cut your nails. He's got fangs. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you catching up on comments or what? Yeah, what's, I'm trying. What's you, what's you doing over there? I'm trying. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I think there, there's some Whoop. banter Shit. going around Sorry. about... There's COVID banter going around in the live stream, I think, or in the chat. Yeah, that's, I was trying to kind of ignore. See what was going on. With yeah, that. I saw. I was like, "What was everybody? What were people? People are getting irritated with." Dude. Well, I think the we, conversation was we don't you talk know, from a medical standpoint versus what. There's a lot of I think Sheila was because you know Sheila's a respiratory therapist. Oh, is she? And so, you know how how we responded to COVID in the beginning. First of all, it's a very real thing. I mean, and we, we had patients come in, families, oh, it's not real. It's fucking real. Oh, no, real. I remember. Like, uh, it's a real thing. People I remember, died. It I was remember, really bad. I remember Allison had a and, friend, and her dad was a big, like, it's not a real thing. And guess what? He died. Yeah. I mean, it, it was. He died. It was bad, and it was scary. And because we didn't know anything about it, we did what we thought, you know, met medical teams, physicians, did what they thought was best. And now we know differently because. Well, yeah, I mean, they were putting everybody on the respirators have, and they found out that, that was a big reason so many yeah, people were dying. But they were in <laughs> respiratory respirator. stress with oxygen saturations in the 50s. Of course you want to put them on a ventilator. Right. Like you think it's like that's that's your next thing. You escalate. That's your last resort. Um, but, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And then you, you learn and you get, gain experience. And that's what happens with the novel virus that's brand new. And so, you know, yeah, I mean, it's very admit, different now. And, and the way it all unfolded and the whole po from a political standpoint, that's to a totally different I'll do thing. That. Well, <laughs> but what we dealt with in hospitals was <laughs> very real. What still cracks me up is there's still people wearing fucking masks. Still. Yeah. Still. Didn't you say just recently? Or like the lady in, my, in, that, in yeah. the doctor's office. She the was other in day. the doctor's office the <laughs> other day and there was a guy in the doctor's office that coughed. And there was a lady in the doctor's office with a mask on. And she got all butt hurt and went full Karen on no, the she guy. Didn't even, she wasn't even wearing a mask. Oh, I thought she, she was, was going like this. Oh, her. she was covering her face and went. F somebody she, coughed. Because somebody coughed and she went full Karen on the guy. It was like, sir, <laughs> sir. She was like, sir, you're, you're coughing into open air, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, sorry. Oh, dude. I wish I would have been there. Uh, if she would have said that shit to me, I would have coughed right in her fucking face. <laughs> I'd have <been> like, <laughs> he was He was across the waiting room. It wasn't I, even he like. He was probably like 30 feet from her. It just typical fucking Karen. It was like drama. It was very tense. I walked in right in the middle of it. I was like. Typical ooh, ooh. Karen behavior. <laughs> typical Karens. I swear to God, dude. Speaking of Karens, how about Nikki Haley, get, Nikki Haley getting fucking wiped? I don't even talk about politics that much. But holy shit. I mean, sort of. Trump fucking wiped the floor. Some of those totals were like 80-something to like 15. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, dude. That was an ass kicking, bro. Oh, I'm glad she finally decided to bow out. Because it was it was getting embarrassing for her. It was getting embarrassing. Embarrassing, I tell you. Embarrassing. Well. Yeah, dude, that better. was my favorite, Ben Joe. That was my absolute favorite. People what? wearing the masks while driving in their car. Well, sometimes I did forget because I would wear a mask like in stores and stuff in the beginning, like when, you know, you were supposed to. I just tried to do the right thing. Um, and sometimes I would forget that I had it on and then I'd be in the car by myself. Like a fucking moron with the mask on. Dude, I'm like, every oh my time, God, I'm I'm that person. Every I'm time, the person, but I just forgot I had it on. Every time I see 
fucking every time I see some when that was going on and I would see somebody in the car alone going down the highway doing 80 miles an hour with the mask on, I would be like, what do you think is going to get you in your <laughs> They car? probably forgot too. No, no, no. no I'm no, just no. saying because I it really did happen to me. No. You would see it way too often for that just to be people. Ms. Britter said Nikki Haley is a Democrat in disguise. Dude, she <laughs> for she sure is. And she said on her speech, I've always been a conservative Republican. And I'm like, mm. yeah, dude, she's a conservative Republican, my ass. She's a fucking dim dim. A hundred percent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, Sheila, you wearing a mask at work is different, though, right? Because I mean, yeah, you're, you're, I still wear a mask at work, well, right? Because you're patients. around, you're around people that have fucked up shit that you could get. <laughs> like you don't want to catch that. Well, I mean, shit. it's still it's still around, and you still can get it, and you st- it does still make you sick and uh, not feel good. So oh, I mean, yeah. you don't want to. You know, no, I'll admit when COVID first came out, I was sketched as fuck because the first month or two, nobody knew what the fuck was going on. People were dying. Shit was crazy. They were shutting down the country. We're like, what the fuck is this? Is this it? It's, it's happening. It's happening. Get the rations. You know, I mean, it was fucking, it was like, it was a, a situation, but it did not take long to it's realize. It's very different. It we did, have di- very different opinions now. It did not take long later. to realize, oh, bro, this is like a bad cold for most people. For most. For most people. For most. The weird thing about COVID, I will say, is the, the huge discrepancy discrepancy in people like your friend's dad got it died right yeah i my friend's ex-husband also and he was yeah he was maybe 40 40 yeah but then you had other people that would get it and it was like nothing like they didn't even have symptoms or didn't even know they had it right i mean and everybody talked about how contagious it was you had it i slept in the bed next to you yeah. And either I And maybe you had it and you just And know. either I never got it or I got it and I was one of those people that didn't get symptoms. I don't yeah. know. But yeah, it was a weird one, man. It was weird. It was weird. It's still weird. It's still weird. It's still weird. It's still weird. But uh I think for the most part though, not as bad as most people were making it out to be. Honestly, the the wearing gloves to me was more wild than the masks because people would be pushing wear them to push their carts around in the store and then adjust their mask with their gloved hand right or be in their purse messing with their personal belongings with their gloved hands that they're touching everything to try to prevent the germs but then they're touching their personal belongings it's like you clearly don't understand the way gloves work Jeff or what you're doing Jeff yes bad cold what I mean by that is I know we lost millions of Americans but it was a weird thing that and that's what I was just clarifying some in people be- not in the beginning it was different some people got it and died other people got it and it was like a mild cold that was it yeah it wasn't like, and it was, it's true even in the beginning that was true for some people yeah. Allison had it she got pretty slick sick Caden mildly sick I was in the house with both of them, slept in the bed right next to her, never either didn't get it or didn't have symptoms. I know tons of people that got it, and they were like, yeah, I felt like crap for a day or two, and then I was fine. So, you know, it was one of those weird ones that it just affected people really, really differently. Yeah. Um, but don't get all butthurt, Jeff. I was just saying, buddy. Everybody gets so sensitive about that. Millions of Americans, do- I know, man. No, in, no, in the, no, in the beginning, like that, <clears throat> in... The first year of it, that was a very different situation than what we're dealing with now. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was saying a few minutes ago. Like, it was a very real thing and killed millions of of people. Oh, it did. Like, it was was bad. It's not anymore. No. In my opinion. (laughs) From what I see, anyway. No. It's still there. It's still around. And you can still get it. And it still makes you sick. But we've learned a lot about how to treat it. And the approach is different. I mean, like we said, we personally knew at least three or four people that died from it. Yeah. You know, but then we also knew, I knew three or four people that died from it, but I also knew probably 60 people that got it Didn't. and was like, eh, you know what yeah. I mean? So I don't know if it's certain people's immune systems. Well, everybody, everybody truly does react to it differently. I feel like. Yeah. And so. I don't even know that, it, you know, and it, it definitely affected unhealthy people at a higher, uh, in a much worse way. People that were obese had a much worse 
time with it. People had diabetes, had a worse time with it. Well, Sheila, you know, Sheila does like adult respiratory, you know, therapy and stuff. And Uh that's, that's what she was. She was like, I have legit PTSD from it. It was bad. I have friends that went and did travel nursing and went up North, uh, went to like New York and places like that, that got hit really, really hard and had like overwhelmed hospitals and they had tents set up outside and all that kind of stuff. And they said people were just dying left and right. And Mm -hmm. It really was traumatic for them as healthcare workers. And so, mm-hmm. no, it, it's, we don't, we're not downplaying it whatsoever. Um, it was just a very different, very different thing then. I think we might've gotten lucky that it kind of. Um, and, and it was very different for us down here too than it was. I, I think we got know, in lucky places. in the fact that it, it seemed to have morphed into a less dangerous thing than sometimes viruses morph into yeah. a more dangerous thing. Yeah. This one morphed into a less well, it, dangerous thing. We did have thing. like, you know, when it went to like Delta and Delta was like really bad, you know, mm-hmm. but over time, you know, it's just, you learn more and mm-hmm. is what it is. Anyway, let's move on from COVID. I don't want to talk about Yeah. It yeah. It's a weird topic. It's a weird topic. <laughs> Ryan says, and Jeremy's canceled. <laughs> you, you can't cancel people, man. The canceling people thing is so ridiculous. Can we talk about that for a second? How are you going to cancel people? You can't. For having an opinion you don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one of the, disappear. I think that's one of the problems with America today is people have the I'm going to use the word audacity to think that if someone doesn't agree with you that they don't deserve to have an opinion. Yeah. And that's crazy to me. It's like that's what this country was founded on. People disagree on shit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't mean that person needs to be, you know, fucking whipped on the public forum and made to apologize and canceled and all this stuff. It's like, so you don't agree with what I'm saying? Who gives a shit? Like, I'm sure there's plenty of shit that we agree on. And there's probably shit that I agree that we don't. You know what I mean? It's just the cancel thing is fucking ridiculous to me. Yeah. It is dumb, dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah, exactly. I don't like it. Cancel it. <laughs> it's like what? I don't. I don't get it. it. Don't make no sense. When did that become a thing? Do you think? What cancel culture? Um. Cancel culture. I don't know, like the last couple years. Like the last two, three years? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably the last couple. It's gotten real, it got real bad. I think it started to lighten up a little bit, but I don't know, man. The cancel culture thing always kind of drove me crazy. Uh, <laughs> Pop your cigar. Did you get like midway taste? Thank you, Josh. <laughs> yes. Cancel love is blind. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cancel rising cigar prices. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when you know who took over, ain't that the truth? You know what? Honestly? Yeah, it was 2020. It was like post COVID, all the things. That's when it like everything. hit its peak. Yeah. Yep. And, and you know what's funny? You know what seemed to uh, started to calm it down some is when Republicans started being the same way and canceling Democrats. Like, uh, like when the know. like when the Dylan Mulvaney ha- ha- thing happened, and they were like, "Okay, fuck this, we're gonna boycott Bud Light," and then it started happening in the reverse. Yeah. And then all the people that were like woke and trying to cancel, sure, like, wait a minute, they're they're trying to cancel us back on the things that are our things. <laughs> well, hold on, we got to stop this cancel shit. No, I mean it's still out there. There's plenty of shit that's still uh, canceled, but um, I, I I I I if there's anything going on in society that I disagree with more, it's cancel culture. I can't stand that shit. That drives me crazy. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a right to their opinion. We don't have to agree. That doesn't mean anybody deserves to get canceled over it. That's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Z-Man, thanks for the super chat, buddy. My girl shaved. What? My girl shaved her bangs to wear her mask with 
which scared me when I got it and I was out of work for five months with respiratory issues and I'm now fine. Cheers. Well, I'm glad you're fine. Five months. Wow. Dude, I will say. And Some I, people do get that long. Long COVID. Yeah. I will say I got the last sickness we had. And this was. We r- think it was the flu, but we don't know. Wh- what are we talking about? Yeah, this was well after all this stuff. This was back. This was, you, you remember we had to cancel a live stream over This was at the end of last year. Yeah. yeah. We had to cancel a live stream over We got, we thought it was the flu because we had a wicked fever. But then afterwards we were like, maybe it was COVID because I was tired. And it I would. It took us a long time. To I would it. get out of breath walking up a flight of fucking stairs for like a month. Yeah. Now, Z-Man, it wasn't to your extent. I didn't, it didn't take me five months and I didn't have, uh, respiratory issues for that long but it was a good month of respiratory issues like legitimately a flight of stairs and i'd be like oh fuck and, <laughs> like, but I'm, if it was you were sick as shit i was sick as fuck on that one yeah it took me a uh it took i was us each a week of i was out of commission for a week like high fever chills felt like shit horrible for a week and then for a solid week after that I was still like, I wasn't fully out of commission, but I still was tired. I had to take naps every day. Like I was beat up. And then another two weeks, maybe three weeks, in addition to that, before I got my wind back, I just, I couldn't seem to get a good breath and I would get winded really, really easily. It was, it was, it was, it was a weird one. I don't know what the hell that was. Maybe it was the vid. Yeah. Flu, (laughs) flu was real bad this past year, but anyways. Moving on. Maurice said his cigar is hitting real nice. Right is it? Mm hmm. My poppy's hitting real nice. <laughs> Dude, I saw the, the guy speaking of, he says cancel ATF. I saw the director of the ATF. Hmm? The director of the ATF. Yeah. Now, you would assume, you would assume that the director of the ATF. I don't know if that's the highest held position in the ATF. I don't know if there's a higher person. I'm assuming that's one of the highest people in the ATF. Yeah. You would assume, being that the ATF is alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, that the director would be pretty knowledgeable about firearms, right? One, one would assume. Yeah, you would want to assume. I saw him in a clip say it with his own mouth, so this isn't like hearsay. I heard him say it. I saw the clip calling a 75-round drum magazine a clip. A clip. A clip. It's not a clip! (laughs) It's a magazine. If it's got a spring in it, it's a fucking magazine. Clips are like the things they used to have in like M1 Grands and shit. That was a clip. Magazines... It just amazes me that a guy that is the head honcho of an agency that is over firearms doesn't know the difference between a magazine and a clip. That fucking amazing. And then we wonder why there's all these bullshit weird laws that get brought up and stuff. Because these motherfuckers don't know what they're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. He's a... Yes, Josh. He's a fucking idiot. Okay. (laughs) That drives me crazy. I, it drives me crazy whenever I hear all these poli- these liberal politicians quoting all this stuff about firearms and, and reasons why they think firearms should be banned and all this stuff. And they're just, it's not even an opinion. They're just wrong. Like they're factually incorrect on what they're saying about the firearm. Yeah, I mean, those, you would think those would be like, if anybody knew, it would be them. Yeah. You would think, but clearly. Oh, I got corrected. He said M1 Grand was an in block. So it wasn't a clip. It was an in block. I know the M1 Grand has my favorite sound when it's out. It goes, and it shoots that fucking thing about. Although I would say, here's what I would say about that. I don't feel like that was the best kind of situation for if you're in a firefight. Because you know when they're out of ammo and they need to reload. Because it goes, Ling, and it shoots this fu- and it like shoots this metal magazine up in the air. Not magazine, sorry, wrong word. Mm-hmm. It shoots this metal clip in block. I don't know what the hell. Uh, I don't. I've never had an M1 Grand. They're old rifles. I'm not a big old rifle guy. But it shoots it up in the air and it makes this loud pling noise. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, he's got to reload, which means I can shoot him now. Oh man, Winston, 
My leg's killing me, Bubba. Um, so, Chris, you, you got to tell me, Chris. Notes. You got to tell me, Chris. So, is it not a, is it not considered a clip in an M1 Grand? Is it called an N block? Is that what it is in an M1 Grand? I'm gonna see if if he responds. Mm -mm, cigar mm -mm, notes, babe. Mm -mm. The so people want cigar notes. The people, the people, the people, the people, the, the people have spoken, the, the people, and they want the people, notes. The people have spoken. <laughs> yeah, dude, those M1 Grands are loud. Those things fuck, dude. They're loud. They are loud, and uh, they they kick pretty good. I, I, maybe it's because it's all wood stock and all that. I don't know. There there is uh, there's something about it. It was an M block loader, they called it. M block M block loader. So the little thing that the the bullets went in, they called an M block. They didn't call it a, a clip, huh? Weird. Weird. Yeti Mag says reloading an M1 grand is very fast. Uh, it's not fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can reload an AR fifteen. I'm not as fast with AK-47. The Rock kind of fucks with me. I haven't trained enough with a uh, AR uh, with a AK-47 style situation with the Rock. I'm not super super fast with that either. Either, I'm fast with like a AR-15 platform, real fast. Uh, normal handguns too. I'm quick with that. But if you got to rock it in or do anything crazy or like push it down like the M, I, I'm not. I'm not. I have not trained enough with that, and I'm not. I'm not very fast. Michael, thanks for the super chat, buddy. Love the channel. I buy all the stuff, but geez, tonight feels like Fox News. <laughs> we're, we're done. We're done. We're done with that stuff. Every now and then we get off on a little tangent. Sometimes stuff comes up in the chat. You know, it's a whole point of a live stream. It's a, it's a fluid thing. Sometimes it's light and funny. Sometimes it's a little more serious. We get into a little politics. We get in now. You know, it's all the things. We do all the things <coughs> here on the live. <laughs> I do try to not spend more than five or ten minutes on politics and stuff, though, because it does get weird real quick. I right? thought everything I said was factual. Well, uh, yeah, you know, even if it's factual, some people are going to disagree with you and it rubs people the wrong way. So I try not to spend too much time on it. But it's, you know, we talk about topical stuff on here and sometimes topical stuff is shit like that. Uh, Rune King. Uh, Doug. Yeah, I'm pretty sure almost always uh, they almost always have one in stock. It depends on what model of the P365 you're looking for, but he's usually got a pretty good selection of P365. I know uh, I didn't go up there this week and I, uh, or last week because last week I was going to the expo, and then this week I'm going down to Orlando, so I haven't been up there in a couple weeks. But last time I was up there, they had some of the uh, tack packs. I think were. No, what's it called? The TAC Ops. The uh, P365 TAC Ops. I think they had some P365 XL, some P365. Uh, what's the other model? The TAC Ops, the XL. What was the other model? of the? Th anyway, he usually has several different versions up there. So, yes, go check them out. Uh, Michael G. Oh, I already read that one. You got a Rune King. Uh, Rune King. It's O Rune King, babe. Get it right. O Rune King. Appreciate the super chat, buddy. More to beat the truly lover in the Overlanding Content Fund. When do we get more content? Uh, this week coming up. This I'm putting. I'm putting the. Uh, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Uh, I'm putting the extrusions Overland rack on there today. I got most of that done today. Then tomorrow, I'm going to try to finish up. I've got the Midnight Forest water system that I'm going to be mounting to the extrusions rack. I've got some action tracks recovery boards I'm mounting to the uh, extrusions rack. And I think that's all for this video. Oh, and step 22 sent me a bunch of cool gear, like a tool roll and some stuff. So we're going to go over that in the video. I'm going to try to get all that filmed tomorrow. So early next week, we should have this next edition, which like I said, will include the extrusions overland rack, action tracks, recovery boards, Rainfor Midnight Forest water system and some organizational bags and stuff from Step 22, which is a cool company. So cool stuff coming 
Mr. Rune King. Um, stripper clips. I love stripper clips. I'm a big fan. I have a a bunch of the green tips. I came came on stripper clips, and it does make loading magazines really quick. You can just rat, rat. Michael Super Chat nine ninety nine. Thank you for Super Chat, buddy. Appreciate you guys. We appreciate you, Michael. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, babe, you never said the notes. I never said you the notes. You took a puff, but you didn't say the notes. Okay, here we go. Notes. <laughs> I'm trying, you guys. <laughs> He's like, squirrel. I actually inhaled a little bit of that one. I was trying to retro and I fucked up and I breathed in. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> even for somebody who smoked many, many cigarettes back in the day when I smoked, if I inhale a cigar by accident, I'm like, oh God, cigar smoke is not meant to be inhaled. Dead air. That's you. You're supposed to be filling. Every time when you're doing your tasting notes, if I start talking, you interrupt me mm -hmm. with your notes. Mm -hmm. So I just wait and let you do the. <laughs> I need some water. Swish the smoke around in your mouth a little water. bit. <laughs> um, but see, the thing is, I don't know what people are talking about in here because they're talking about guns. <laughs> And Let me see. stuff Let me that see. I don't understand. Drones. You use your green egg more than your flat top, Eric? There's definitely a... We got rid of the green egg. I stopped myself. I didn't interrupt. <laughs> see? I, thought, well, you, I see? thought you were done. You said, we use our green egg more. I thought you were done. I went to talk, and then you kept going. There's definitely a nuttiness going on there that I didn't remember because I had smoked this cigar a long time ago. I didn't pre-smoke this one for the live stream, but I had smoked the cigar a long time ago, and I don't remember this being a nutty cigar, but I keep getting this nutty vibe. Again, it's more of like a walnut or a uh, maybe a pecan or a chestnut. or something. It's not like a peanut flavor. It's like a, a waxy nut kind of flavor. Oof. Oh, Winston. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this dog. This dog Brett, is trying to lay across my lap. Bready, nutty, earthy, a touch of leather. Strangely enough, almost no pepper. At least I'm not getting any pepper. I'm not feeling the pepper. Maybe a little bit, but not much. It's more of like an earthy, leathery, nutty bready kind of situation is what I'm getting. Those are my notes for right now. Earthy, bready, nutty with a little bit. There is still a little bit of that almost, let me get home. There's a little bit of pepper on the retro. There is a little bit of a, a minerally slightly briny minerally note in there too but that's just me bready earthy a little bit of leather a little bit of a briny minerally note and some 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 pretty aggressive nuttiness it's a pretty aggressive nut it's good though i i like it it's smoking real nice for you guys that have one what notes are you getting sound off in the comments please Maurice, super chat. Appreciate you, my brother. Hail to the Sires family. Love y'all. We love you too, buddy. Which is why you got a wrench next to your name because you was handling shit last week. Appreciate you, Maurice. We love you, brother. Overland Pioneers. Hope your Overlandy show was, fu mm -hmm. was fun. Cheers, bro. It was, man. I had a good time. Um, I got to hang out with some cool folks. Like I said, I got to hang out with Travis, which he's always in here a lot, Dark Side. 
His real name is Travis. So if you ever call uh, Extrusions Overland, you'll probably get him on the phone because he handles all their customer service and stuff. Good guy. Hung out with him. Hung out with uh, Brolio and Carlos and some of those folks. Talked to, uh, I forgot his name now. A couple of the other vendors and stuff. I went and saw a few people. It was fun, man. Had a good time. Some people came by. I met a few people that uh, came by that recognized me. One guy, a uh, couple of guys, as soon as I pulled up in my truck in the parking lot, I was on the phone with Travis trying to figure out where they were and stuff. So I was sitting in my truck for a second and there was guys like that had parked next to me and they were just kind of standing outside the truck. And I was like, I wonder what they're waiting on. Maybe they're waiting on a friend or something. And I got out and the first thing they said is, man, you can't do a truck build on internet and not expect people to recognize your truck. And I'm like, really? I'm like, it's a black Chevy with big tires. That's like a million of those things. But uh, anyway, they were fans of the show. They watch. And uh, yeah, there was at least... I don't know, maybe a half a dozen or so people, which I didn't expect to run into a ton of people that I knew that or that watched the channel or anything there. But uh, yeah, there was a good half a dozen people or so that that came by and said they were fans. Brolio, the guy I talked to, he said his boss was a big fan and he couldn't wait to go back and tell him that um, he hung out with me and whatnot. So no, it it was a good time, man. I enjoyed it. It was a fun event. Lots of people. Dude, there was a kid that had a one wheel. Oh, yeah. And he had a lawn chair strapped to the one wheel. And he was riding around in a lawn chair on the one wheel, just fucking booking it. That on seems a, really dangerous. It does, but the guy they said he was he was there last year was the same thing. He was just booking around in a lawn chair on a one wheel. Wait, how? I don't know, dude. I don't know how he did it, but it was it was strapped to a one wheel and he was booking it just So was his butt on the where the feet go? I mean, I don't no, because I mean a lawn chair is bigger than the one wheel. So the, the I know, that's why I'm confused. And he was just like, kind of what sit, part was on I I mean, I don't I didn't pay that close of attention. I need details. You I know mean, this. I, you know, I know you like details. I, I don't know that many details other than he was blowing around on a fucking lawn chair strapped to a one wheel. It was hilarious. Huh. But yeah, there was, I, there was a bunch of people that had like e-bikes and electric skateboards and one wheels and they were all zipping around. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. Yep. That seems. I will say the portalettes were disturbing. I went to take a piss at one point and I walked in and I immediately had to leave. I couldn't even take a pee. There was a mound, a mountain of diarrhea. Oh, and I immediately started gagging. I was like, <laughs> and I had to like go back out of the fucking portal and I couldn't even take a piss. I had to wait and go in a different one because it oh was just, God. it was so bad. I was like, oh my God, they need to empty these things, bro. They're bad. Uh, 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 uh. I don't, yeah, that's... Overland Pioneer yeah. says, wait till I get you on this new land moto electric motorcycle. Oh, electric oh. motorcycle. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. That sounds real fun. Maybe I'll also let me ride it if it's an electric motorcycle. <laughs> Dude, there was a guy that had a side-by-side that had possibly the biggest tires I've ever seen on a side-by-side. His side Side by by sides look like fun. They are fun, but it was huge. I mean, I would say it was almost as big as my truck. Really? I mean, the tires were like this big on a side by side. It was fucking huge. It was the biggest side by side I've Uh ever seen. It was a ginormous. Listen, we do have to kind of not go super late tonight because I got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Just throwing that out there. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I got 30 minutes. I'm, I'm going. We're getting close to the panties. I'll try to pay a little more attention to the cigar and hammer on. Hammer on. Hammer on. But yeah, the Overland thing was fun, man. I enjoyed it. I wish there was more of them because it was actually a really cool crowd of people there. Uh, even more so than the Blade Show. And don't get me wrong, and I really enjoyed Blade Show because Pete was there and Taylor was there and more uh, like no, no, well, all the guys at, at uh, exclusive, exclusive and stuff were yeah. there. So, I mean, I enjoyed Blade Show because a lot of the people that I am friends with and I hang out with and are like my online friends and whatnot were all there. So, I enjoyed Blade Show for that aspect. But it was definitely a cool vibe at the Overland thing. Everybody was kind of laid back and yeah. chill and. You know, people were just walking around, hanging out. People were cooking food because a lot of the people had overland rigs with cooking stuff, and it was it was fun, man. It was it was a good time. Like like I said, Brolio and them had that fucking Nomad Grill out, 
cooking sausages and picanha, and that shit was delicious. I mean, he grilled some bread. He had picanha. He had grilled buttered bread with, like, garlic and shit. Yeah. Sausage. I mean, it was fucking delicious, dude. He, he cooked it up. If you uh, have an overland uh, uh, type thing in your area, if you're at all into camping or any of that, that kind of stuff, I suggest you go, man. It's a fun little event to hang out and walk around and do the damn thing. Uh, is the Overland truck getting built in a humidor? <laughs> no, I don't have room. That would be awesome, though. Don't get me wrong. I will have a way to deal with taking cigars with me for sure, but it won't have a built-in humidor. More than likely, I'll have uh, – we had talked about it before. A lot of times I use, like, Tupperware. But then somebody had brought up the Apache cases that we use that are – they're, you know, rubber seal and stuff. They're like, man, those Apache – you get them at Harbor Freight. They're like – knockoff pelicans but they're really good deal i think that i'm gonna get one of those and make that my travel humidor that i'll keep in my truck for for overlandy trips so it won't be a built-in humidor but there will be a solution for keeping your cigars in check while you're uh you know out and about and so forth and so on and so forth and so on Babe, do we still have glass trays? We got the solos. The quattro sold out. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. The quattro sold out partially because they were awesome. <laughs> but also, we had to QC out. Like, oh, yeah. Man, we had to QC out like... A lot. A lot. A lot. Of, of the, the... Because... Here's the thing. The guys at Exclusive are, are pretty great, man. When we do our QCs and stuff, very few things get through the cracks that are fucked up. Obviously, there's always going to be stuff that slips through the cracks. And if you guys ever get any of our merch that we sell and something's not right, let us know immediately. The guys at Exclusive have great customer service. They will get you taken care of 100%. Absolutely. But, but rarely do one slip through the cracks because they do a hell of a QC process. And that's part of the reason why after we get products, it takes us a couple weeks after that to get them launched because they individually go over every single product and QC it before it, and then repackage it. Cause we do our own little fancy packaging and stuff before it goes out to you guys. And, uh, unfortunately that batch of whenever you're dealing with glass, you get a lot of casting issues where there's bubbles in it or the casting didn't work quite right. And there's like a mark or whatever. And we're not going to sell that stuff to you guys. So we QC would out like half of them. Which means we made like no money <laughs> on those because all of our profits got eaten up with QC issues. Uh, but that happens sometimes. But, um, but yeah, those sold out really fast. The solos, we still have some up. So if you want one, solos are in stock. I don't know if we're going to redo the quattros. We might do something different. So if you wanted a bigger one, just wait. I'm sure we'll come up with something new and different. But uh, if you just want a single one, there are solos in stock. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Blems? What's a blem? Uh, we thought about it. What is that? Blems are where you sell, sell stuff that has a QC issue. Uh, you oh, sell, like you, blemish. Yeah, you sell it at a gotcha. discounted price. So, you know, you mark it down half off or whatever. Yeah. And you say, hey, there's, you know, here's a blem. Um, yeah, if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Because uh, we got a whole lot of <laughs> blems on the uh, glass tray. Here's a cool story, though. I think what we're going to do, we haven't found out if it's going to work yet, but I think what we're going to do to try to figure out a way to not waste all those glass trays is, you know, we have the hand blown whiskey glasses. I think the glass guy may be able to use the glass because those glass trays are just a big hunk of glass. We think he may be able to melt that glass back down and use it to make the hand blown whiskey glasses. And if he can, <coughs> we're going to use some of that. <coughs> some of the ones that uh, we couldn't use because of casting issues as um to make whiskey glasses so that way we don't just waste it because it's a shame to just throw all that stuff in the trash you know what i mean but yeah if there's some that are like minor blemishes that we decided maybe i'll uh 
If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If you guys are interested, let's pop it off in the comments if blims are something you guys would be into. Because um, there, I'll say yes, as long as there's no nothing sharp. Yeah, they're it's not sharp pieces. It's no, just it's, like, it's it's mostly like casting issues yeah. where when they cast them, there's like an imperfection like sh- or like streak. Like there's like there a some w- that were like yeah, it's like a weird, you know, like rough area where like the casting didn't come yeah. off clean and there's like a, a, a rough area with a line that like the casting didn't show just good or a uh, air pocket or something like that that didn't look good that's mainly a couple of them the bevels because they bevel the sides uh of them a couple of them the bevels were cut uneven stuff like that yeah uh, i just clean mine they're glass man so i just wash them with soap and water and dry them off like you would a glass. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, you know, that's the good thing about it being solid glass. You, you can't really hurt them. Windex it. <laughs> yeah, you could windex it. You could, uh, I usually just soap and water, sponge, scrub it down with some Dawn, rinse it off, dry it off, and, you know, they're, they look like brand new. Look at this dog. He's like out. I wish you guys could see him. He's like, you talking about me? Okay, so there's a bunch of you guys that said yeah. blims. Okay, I'll get with Brantley and find out, uh, like do a scratch and dent section on the website. And <laughs> Did y'all hear that? They're probably getting here. This is a fucking snorathon. I'll uh, get with Brantley and see if there, as long as, like you said, as long as there's none that are like sharp edges or any of the ones where the bevel's like way cut fucking crooked, uh, those would be bad. But... Um, if there's any that, that we didn't sell because they weren't up to our standards, but maybe they're lower on the fuck scale, mm-hmm. <laughs> then, you know, we'll mark them down like 50% off or something and, and um, we'll, we'll throw them out there for you guys. Certainly, certainly, certainly. I will, uh, I need to write myself a note because I'll forget that shit. I'll remind you. Will you? I'll try. Who was it that I... Re- oh. Who was it that I was looking at the other day? They, they have a, a big blim section. I don't remember who it was. I know BCM does blims. They do, like... BCM will have, like, a, a Bravo company. It's one of the firearm manufacturers. They m- mostly make AR-15s and whatnot. They have blim sections where something's wrong, and they usually have pretty good deals in there. So there's another company, though, that I just noticed the other day that had a scratch and dent section. <laughs> Travis says, don't sell the ones that have a vagina image instead of a beard. I would imagine some people may pay more for that, AJ. You know what I mean? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, probably maybe. You know. Are you going to get that super chat? Did I miss a super chat? Oh, Guffy, I'm sorry, buddy. I almost missed you. I thought you, I thought you had your thing on. Four ninety nine. As long as I can put my ash on your face, I'm good. Uh-huh. <laughs> your ash or your ass? <laughs> what kind of party is this, Guffy? I'm just saying. What kind of party are we talking about here, buddy? A <laughs> Winston cam. We do need a Winston cam. He's down here, like, I mean, he's l- like laid out across her lap, and he's over here snoring and shit. The thing is, it's not a very, it can't be comfortable. He's like across my, just like my legs. Like it's not. PSA does, but no, PSA wasn't the company. PSA, absolutely, for sure. They do have a blim section, but that wasn't the company that I was looking at the other day and I noticed they had a scratch and dent section. I don't remember what company it was. It was a website I was shopping on. I don't generally shop a ton on Palmetto State. Nothing wrong with them. I just. I usually stick with my BCMs and stuff. Um, what is the damn... That's going to drive me crazy. I can't think about who it was. <laughs> Guffy says, you're kind of party. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know me, Guffy. You know me. You know. You know me, dude. You know me. It's almost panties time. I'll let it go out. I, I say that to her all the time. Hmm. 
Let me. I'll go. Mustache rides. Yeah, I'll go. Let me clear a seat for you. <laughs> Mustache rides. Come on. Come on. Adam's got a big old mustache. That's why he's talking about mustache rides. Come on. Pravada does? Maybe it was Pravada. Dude, agreed. I see people talking about the cafeterias. Here, <sighs> MM was talking about it. And then right here, Eric says, agreed. Dude, I'm, I, I've been telling people. I've been telling folks. The fucking cafeterias are probably the best bundle cigar I've ever had. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the best cigar I've ever had. Bundle-wise, though, I don't know that I've had a better bundle cigar than those cafeteria cigars. They're fucking banging, dude. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> he just did it again. <sighs> um, I mean, they are really, really good. They are better quality than they should be to be in a bundle. They are... A qu to me, they are the quality of like a 6 to $8 cigar. What are they? And they're in a bundle. I think you get 20 of them for like 50 or 60 bucks. Oh. So that's like three, two to three dollars a piece, something like that. And to me, they're every bit the quality of a six to eight dollar cigar. They are delicious. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Mm hmm. Trying to get down to these panties for y'all, y'all. It's y'all, y'all. Allison wants to get off here on time tonight. On time. She's got to work tomorrow. I got to finish this truck video. I got to get the water system put on. I got to get the traction boards put on. All that shit. They're dropping. Oh, Doug. Oh, Doug is out. Good night. Good night Richard's out. Peace out. Good night, Richard. Ooh, bought a bundle oh, and 20 of the go. Habanos. Come on, Cigaro Witcher. Come on, prepper. Cigaro Prepper. You my man. He says, email. didn't I email you back? Huh? I thought I did. Did I not email you back, Overland Pioneers? I know I read your email. And I remember on one of the live streams, I told you I was going to get back with you. And maybe I didn't. I'll have to do that. I meant to do that. If I didn't, if I didn't do it yet, I meant to do it. Because whoa, yes, whoa, whoa. for sure, uh, it sounds like oh. you um, oh, okay. definitely work in a space where we could we could do some shit together. So it could be fun, man. I will uh, I will go digging through my emails and try to find it. Or if you want, shoot me another email so it's at the top of my inbox, and then that'll remind me because it probably is down in my email box at this point. So I will go digging. But if you want to ensure that I'll see it, send me a little reminder. But yes, I will definitely get back with you because I, I definitely, if I did not respond, I meant to respond to you. You know what I'm saying. Is, yeah. his, is his email Overland Outfitters? Or Overland, Overland Pioneers. Pioneers. I don't know why I said Outfitters. Oh, yeah, Colin. Oh, yeah, we got them cigars coming, baby. We got them coming, baby. <laughs> he said you sit on a throne of lies. No, I didn't I tell you in the last live stream that I was going to get back. I don't remember, man. I get so many fucking emails. It's, it, it, it's bad. And I try to like flag the ones that I want to get back to, but sometimes they get like lost in the, sh in the shuffle, in the shuffle. But I, I definitely do want to talk to you because uh, I think we could do some cool shit because I got a lot of the overland stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, the Overland, back to this one, the Overland, or the Overland, Jesus Christ. The Hold Fast, uh, I don't, were we going to launch them at Provodicon? What? Or was it a different cigar he was launching at Provodicon? Oh, uh, what did he say? Were, the, were, the, were we going to do the Jeremy Sires cigars at Provodicon? Or was it a different cigar we were going to launch at Provodicon? I know there was a something coming out at Provodicon. Was it my cigar or was it a different cigar? I don't remember what he said. I can't he remember. He said it last week. I know. I can't remember. It's coming soon, Colin. We're like right around the corner, dude. We're right around the corner. They're great. It's AJ rolled them. 
it was an AJ. It's AJ tobacco. It was made in one of his factories. It's it's a, you know my love for AJ man. The, I still say the New World, the original New New World. I think he calls it the Oscuro, the red and cream colored wrapper one is still one of my favorite cigars. I, I was gonna say one of my favorite cigars in that price range, but you know you can usually get one of those cigars for seven eight bucks. I think that cigar holds up with twelve to fifteen dollar cigars. I fucking love it. AJ just does good shit, man. I really like AJ style. He does good things. Wants to know what kind of nurse she is. A pediatric ER nurse. That's me. For pretty much her entire nursing career, minus a little bit in the very beginning, but I think pretty much almost twenty years in pediatric ER. No. Um. Yeah. I had like a year and a half on uh, on the floor, and I did like three years of ICU stuff, kind of in the middle. But yeah, she's in done the middle there. She's but. done pediatric ER for a long time, long time, long long time. Does somebody say David Stewart's out? Oh, David Stewart. He said it back here. Sorry, David Stewart. I miss you. Have a good night, buddy. Um, I think I'm caught up. 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 Okay, I'm caught up. And not only am I caught up, but but it is that time, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time. It is the time for... Let me get where the focus is at. Let me get this thing started. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Take them panties off, girl. Let's see what you got. Come on, what you come on. Panties are off. A little late, though. 10, 11, and the panties are just now coming off. Still nutty, man. There is a... um. Was there anybody that talked about the notes on this cigar? Did Brian? I don't think Brian talked about the notes on this cigar. Look, can y'all see this dog? Do, 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 can can y'all see the laid back, <laughs> laid back, fucking just? Oh, <laughs> he woke up. He's like, you talking about me? <laughs> He's fucking, that dog is such. Hold on, see if you can hear. He kind of stopped. He he quiets whenever he he, he sees it there, and he's like, he sees it there. He's like, he's like, what the fuck is that in my face? I don't think anybody talks about. It's okay. The he's notes. so tired. See, it's my bedtime. Okay, well, here's some of the reviews on the cigar from Cigars Daily. Somebody says, notes of cocoa and espresso, extremely smooth and tasty. I didn't get either one of those. I'm getting a nuttiness. This guy's saying leather. A lot of guys are saying chocolate. I don't know that I'm getting a ton of chocolate in this cigar. This guy's saying it's a citrus bomb. That just goes to show you, man. Cigar notes are so subjective. I mean, it really is super subjective. I'm getting a nuttiness, leather. I was getting a little bit of a breadiness there for a while. I'm not getting a ton of a, a lot. A bunch of these are saying espresso and cocoa. Now, this guy said some roasty chocolate notes. The roastiness is what I'm getting. It's like this toasty, bready, nutty kind of thing. Arun King said, barnyard funk, bready, nuts, but meh overall. Really? You think meh? He thinks meh. I'm enjoying it. Um, no oh chocolate my. or espresso. Yeah, see, him. a lot of, a bunch of the people on, like if I'm looking at the reviews on the cigar, a bunch of people are saying chocolate and espresso, and I'm just not getting that. And I usually pick that up. 
especially in San Andreas wrappers and in Connecticut Broadleafs, I usually get a chocolatey note and I'm just not getting a ton of that in this cigar. Some people are saying leathery. This one dude says he's getting citrus bomb, citrus bomb. So just goes to show you cigar notes are very subjective. Um, to each their own, man. Everybody's taste buds are a little different. Depends on what you ate that day. Depends on what you're drinking it with. You know, there's a lot of variables there, but the consensus on a bunch of those was chocolate and espresso. I am not getting that in this one. Rune King says barnyard funk bread nuts overall. Meh. Well, hey man, they're not all winners. You know what I mean? I get you. <laughs> November whiskey said cigar notes are damn near pointless. They're either great. Okay. Or trash. Those are my ratings. <laughs> hey, I was talking to somebody about that the other day. I think it wasn't about cigars. That's about though. right up my alley. It wasn't cigars. They were talking about whiskey. I think it was actually Travis was talking about it. He's like, I'm just not there yet where I get the notes. He's like, I know I like it or I know I don't. That's how I am like with whiskey. Right. Yeah. That's where Travis said he was. With yeah. whiskey. He's like, yeah, he's like, I'm not really there where I'm picking up notes. I like it. I don't. It tastes like whiskey. Those are my notes. You know, and I was telling him, I think that doing flights and comparisons are the biggest things that help with that. Because like I, I was saying, a lot of times if I'm having a hard time pulling out the notes of a particular thing, I will taste it alongside other things. And then that will help me find the notes. Yeah. Because in comparison to something else, you get it. Like you're like, oh, this tastes like whiskey. Then you drink the next one and you're like, oh, well, this is way different than that one. This one is way sweeter. This is way more of a honey flavor where this one is more of like a apple flavor or whatever. I do think that the comparisons help. But November whiskey, you're not wrong. A lot of people, they're just like, yeah, I like it. I don't. There it is. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that either, man. Super Chat from Jeremy. Good name, Jeremy. I like <laughs> your name, buddy. How do you feel about Perdomo cigars? I like Perdomos. Uh, one of the ones I recommend to people for newbies sometimes is that I think it's called the Perdomo Champagne. It's like in a yellow cellophane. Damn smooth, good cigar. I like Perdomos. I don't smoke a ton of them, and I don't know why, because anytime I've had them, I really enjoy them. For some reason, it's not one that I lean heavily into for whatever reason, but they're, I think they're great cigars. Maybe I should smoke more of them. Colin G's off to bed. Night, buddy. Good night, Colin. Scott says he gets the nutty notes. That's the only thing Good he night, ever Josh. gets. I get it, man. He's out as well. Piper night, on the bay. Piper. He's out. He's out. He's out with the, we're still going to do a pipe episode one day, Piper. I promise. Uh, I drink whiskey at the same strength. Yeah, no, I drink. Well, I, mean, I drink it neat. I mean, sometimes I'll put it in a cocktail. You're talking about bearded gamer? But I drink it neat. Yeah. Uh, November whiskey says he's different with the whiskey. With the whiskey, he gets all kinds, all kinds of notes. <laughs> <laughs> but with the cigars, not so much. I can see <laughs> that. I can. I don't know. I feel I like it's. I, I don't do cigars really, so I can't really say. I definitely sure, feel like it's probably easier with with whiskey than it is with cigars. But if you get it with whiskey, I feel like eventually you get it with cigars. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm that whiskey's good. I appreciate you, Travis, on that one, if you're still in here, buddy. That whiskey is tasty. And Bearded Gamer, that was this one you <laughs> answered. He, uh, No, she does not dilute it. No. I, I don't, I rarely, and I know that's kind of opposite of what most people say, because I know a lot of the whiskey channels, they'll, you know, they'll drink it, and they'll add a little water, and they'll drink it to see if it changes it. I have rarely found that I that I have rarely <laughs> he's snoring again. I have rarely found that I've added water to something and liked it more. I'm not saying it's never happened, but rarely. So I generally for some people though. I've for no 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 no. Some people I'm not 
I'm saying me personally. Yeah. For me yeah. personally, usually when I add water, I'm it. It kind of, it usually to me, it dulls down the notes that I don't like, and it, or it dulls down the notes that I like and accentuates the notes I don't like. Mm. <laughs> Most, that's just my experience. But a lot of people love it and they water down all their whiskey just with a little bit, just like a splash. And they say it opens it up and they get a lot more of the notes. Uh, and again, you know, that's just more of that to each his own kind of thing. You know, everybody, the, the snoring is fucking cracking me up. Um, Travis, my, uh, you, you had said earlier you liked the Octomore. I'm curious more detail. And I know you don't do notes, but did you find it like overly smoky? Or did you think, this is something I've noticed with a lot of Islas, is when you first taste it, the smoke beats the shit out of you. But then after a couple sips, you acclimate to the smoke and you get all this nice sweetness underneath. And again, I know don't feel obligated. I know you said you're not really a note guy, but I'm just curious as to your experience. You said you liked it, but did you notice as you drank it, it changed? Just curious. Uh, Todd Taylor. I got my man card yesterday and it is awesome. Whoop, whoop. Taylor, Todd Taylor, my man. I appreciate your support, my brother. Appreciate your super chat. I'm glad you like your man card. You were part of a... It's a very small club of people that has those things. <laughs> Email sent again. Thanks, buddy. I will. I'm, I'll look it up right now. I'm gonna look it up and flag it right now. I'm gonna look it up right now and flag it. Let me see if I see it. Email updating. I don't see it. The Squarespace. What's that? Oh, it's Squarespace. Oh, okay. You submitted it on, on, on uh, the website. Roger that. I am boop, flagging you. I put a little flag by it. So I will. Now, I will say I'm probably not going to respond the next couple days because tomorrow I'm going to be busy trying to get this video done. And then Friday and Saturday I am in uh, traveling, going down to Provodicon, and I'll probably be slammed the next couple days. But I will try to make sure – either over the weekend, like Sunday or Monday when I'm catching up on stuff, I will uh, try to get back to you on that. Cause like I said, I do want to um, get, get into that, get, get, get on, get on that. Hearts and shards. Very similar to art bag, but if I had my choice, I'd do the Octomore over the art bag. Yeah. Art bag's great. And I'm a huge art bag fan, but I will say, I think Octomore is a little more refined. It's just a little nicer, uh, it's a little more of all the things. It's like Ardbeg, but like better. <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, I think that's a good description. Adios, buddy. Hearts and sharks. We'll see you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he said, I thought it was my stomach growling. No, that's the dog over here. <laughs> Sounding like a fucking... He needs like a CPAP. You hear that? <laughs> I had the mic on him a minute ago. I had it on him just a minute ago. You didn't see. It's like he knows. It's like he knows. As soon as I put the mic down there, he stops. Oh, did you? Yeah. He is such a fucking snorer, dude. He drives me crazy at night. He drives me nuts. I kick him and I kick him and I bump him and I try. It's just, it's, it's when you're trying to fall asleep and he's like sawing him off like a fucking <laughs> chainsaw. You're like, dude, cut it out. Stop it. It's the worst. The worst of them. Rune King says, I drink the Octomore and I love the smoke, but yes, the flavors become muted for me as I drink it. Also use a scorching rock. It makes a better drink, I think. What's a scorching rock? Am I missing something? I don't what, know. What comment are you on? Uh, uh, oh, Rune Kings. Oh, Rune. Oh. I drink Octomore and love the smoke, but yes, so there's. I think I would also use a scorching rock. It makes it better as I drink. 
What's a scorching rock, I guess? I don't know what a scorching a rock question. is. What's a scorching rock, a rune? Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Michael says Islam's, and he's like, I know he meant to say Isla's. <laughs> Isla's what always tastes like drinking a stringent filtered through an old gun stock for me. I prefer Isla's and Space Sides usually. Oh, and Oa is one of my favorites. Oh, oh, and and Oa is that what he's trying to say? Uh, yeah, man. I was actually talking to Brolio at the because he had never had an Isla, and I was telling him, I'm like, man, Isla's. It's usually one or the other. Rarely do people feel okay about Isla's. Usually it's either they taste it and they're like, this is one of the best whiskeys I've ever had, or they taste it and they're like, what the fuck is in this glass? This is horrible. Why did you do, <coughs> why did you do this to me? Why do you hate me? Why would you do that to my taste buds? It's a, it's, it's a weird one. Dark Side said, medicinal, but ended up being in the love it camp as opposed to the hate it camp, which is what Isla's are. Yeah, dude, Isla's are very, they're very polar. They're very polar. Polarizing. They're very polarizing. Some people love them. Some people hate them, man. Rune King said Scotch ice rock. It was auto-corrected. Ah, uh, ice rock. An ice rock. You know, I did that test with the, with the, with the, with the. Yes, with we did. With on the, what keeps your whiskey coldest. What keeps coldest. your whiskey coldest. And the ice rocks, I believe, they performed. I feel like they did well. They right? per, no, they performed weird. Oh. They never got it at near as cold. They maintained. That's a really good video, by the way, and extremely scientific on Jeremy's part. It was on my part. It's very scientific. He, 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 went, he went. He went. I went. I went well up and above. <laughs> he went. Um, in. Yeah. It. The rocks didn't get it near as cold, but it did maintain its temperature for a while because it didn't really cool it that much. So it was able to maintain that for a mm. long time, but it didn't get him near as cold as like the the big ball that had the stuff in it, or um, uh, I think one of the things that did the best was the cup. It was like a cup that was like a cup. You it had like that liquid in between. It was like a a dual layered cup. Oh with, yeah, and uh, that that shit got it cold. And it actually lasted a pretty long time. But sometimes if you get whiskey too cold, it mutes a lot of the flavors. Mm. So you know. It's a, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. Hmm. See, my first sip was Isla, or of Isla was Lagavulin 16, and my mind was blown. <laughs> and that, that's, the, that's the thing, man, is you get people that they taste it, and they're like, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Because when we were at that uh, beard brand men's retreat thing back, uh, shit, it's been almost a couple years now, uh, that time flies but it was funny because rex from the whiskey vault aka whiskey tribe he came because he was friends with some of the people and it was there in austin where they're at and he came by and we did a whiskey tasting he brought a bunch of stuff and a lot of the guys there were some of the guys there were pretty avid whiskey people some of them were kind of novice i shouldn't say novices but light whiskey drinkers like they weren't you know and it was the first time they'd ever had an isla and it was funny, I saw the whole love it or hate it thing happen live because there was two or three of the guys that were like, oh my God, I've never had this. This is the best thing I've ever had. But then like the rest of them were like, oh, Ooh. I feel like I just drank rubbing alcohol filtered through a sock with yeah. charcoal in it. Yeah. Like it was just smoke and gross and weird and they did not like it at all. Yeah. It's about, it's about Dark side, he says, not a fan of the wee. I actually like the wee beastie. A lot of people do not, but I was, when that first came out, I was actually surprised because it's their youngest bottle, it's their cheapest bottle, and I thought it held up pretty well with the rest of the, the Ardbeg lineup. I'm not going to say it was better than Oogie because Oogie's my favorite, Oogadal, or as Rex says it, Oogadal. 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 Uh, it did not hold up with like those, but I, I really. I really did like it. Uh, I think it, it was pretty good. It was one of, it was one of my, my good ones. I, I like it a lot. Night, no, Gufferino. The Gufferino's out. He's out. Night, buddy. Cigarro Prepper. Another super chat. Is there a video on how to fill out the cigar and whiskey Bibles? No, there is not. Uh, maybe I will do that. 
maybe one of these live streams, when we get the whiskey Bibles back in stock to where they're available, maybe what I'll do is I'll see if I can get an overhead camera set up to where it's aiming down to where you can guys can see the, 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 or one over my shoulder, one over my shoulder. You guys are going to see it back here, which is being, which will annoy me, but maybe I can get an overhead. I could probably get an overhead cause I got bars on the ceiling that I use to mount lights and stuff too. Maybe I can get an overhead camera and we can do a live stream and talk about how to fill it out. I will say I tried to leave it a little open to interpretation so that you could kind of in a way fill it out in whichever way you want. Right. <sighs> but we can, we can, Wednesday we can maybe do something like that. <sighs> Ooh, it's 10 30. All right, babe. We're closing it down. Five Wednesday's minutes, five minutes. Five guys. minutes. Mm -hmm. What's next week's cigar. And we got it. We got to do our, Too windy to do cigar. Trying to do blow rings with this fan makes it almost impossible to do the rings. I cannot type. It's because you're exhausted. It's because you're exhausted. You're exhausted. Oh, I gotta change the the filter. <clears throat> All righty. Next week is going to be March 13th. We're going to have Still Austin guys on. Not guys. Guy. Singular. Uh, Paul Stulak White Blinding Light is the cigar. Paul Stulak. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's like a Lancero size. And it is a Paul Stulak cigar, which means that thing is going to fuck. Because Paul Stulak, his cigars are usually like... It doesn't like, say the... It's a, it's a, it's a, Lance, it's a Lancero because I have them in my humidor back there that his cigars are usually pretty pungent. I really like Paul, Paul Stulak cigars. They're usually on the bolder end of cigars. Usually they're like medium full to full bodied cigars. Oh, Paul really? Stulak cigars usually are, are here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and he's all out of bubble gum. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's next week. Spade says he likes to see behind the scenes. You know, we I need to do that some, maybe for the Patreons to uh, give them a little more like content. If that's something you guys would be interested in, we could maybe do some behind the scenes stuff. It's it's um. it's funny though because it somewhat ruins the magic of things because <laughs> you know you set when you're setting up stuff like this with lights and cameras and all this, you, you set it all up so that what you see on camera looks really nice off camera. It looks like a hot fucking mess because there's wires and there's two cameras and monitors and there's lights over there and there's a big light right here. And usually I've got a light hanging up over top of our head. And I mean, there's just shit everywhere, but uh, I can definitely do that at some point. Um, Rune King. He was asking if we can put the, the, the year next to the month on the cigars on the, on the Pravada site. I can ask him if he can do that, but, um, and I think it was Sarah Bear that actually brought this to my attention. She had emailed me once and was like, the cigars are out of order. But if you, if you change the, um, the filter for some, it used to come up automatically in order. And I don't know if they changed something, but when you go, it's automatically sorted to popularity, it's, it's sorted by popularity. So then it kind of, it, it is kind of confusing and you can see like, March of last year and March of this year, and you don't know. But if you just change it to latest, it'll be in order of like most recent. It'll actually be, I think, the end of March cigars come first, and then it goes like in, you know, in time order down. So that might make it easier on you too. But yeah. I can see if they can do the year also. Yeah, at first we didn't need to because we had. You're saying the years are starting to like. <laughs> crossover well you know? right before you know it, it it didn't matter we only had one year's worth out there but the longer we do this obviously that is going to yeah. start to be a little bit of an issue <laughs> it'd be like yeah. it's like well just change the filter to latest and you'll have all the most current ones right there front at the at the top all right guys we're closing this thing out i still never got any chocolate I never got any espresso. Now, I'm not done. I'm into the final third, but I, I'm not near. I am a smoke cigars to their bitter ends. I've got another 20, 25 minutes on this thing. But um, it stayed 
pretty much the same. I, it was a lot of nuttiness in this cigar. Earthy, nutty, bready. Very little pepper. There's some leather in there. But I never, I never got the... I never got citrus like the one guy had mentioned, and I never got any of the espresso or chocolate notes. It was really more earth, leather, nuts. There is a nice little sweetness in there. It's nondescript sweetness, just a nice underlying sweetness, but leather, bready, earthy, nutty, but not mm -hmm. peanutty, like walnutty or, or pecan kind of kind of nut flavor. Really good. Uh, Rune King said it, it, he was not, uh, he was underwhelmed. I wouldn't say it's a like over nineties cigar for me, but I would say it would be low nineties or high eighties for me. I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was good. It was nice and creamy, nice and round flavors. It wasn't pokey or weird and it burned well and it had nice smoke production, good draw. So, you know, that always gets good points for me because I hate a cigar that's got a shitty draw and this one has a fantastic draw and it burned well. So those are two things that will lose points on a cigar in a heartbeat for me as if the draw is shitty and the burn is shitty. And this one didn't have either one of those. So there's that. Well, one more time before we go, another big thank you to the guys at Blind Barrels again for being the new sponsor of the live stream. Uh, Again, great stuff. We'll talk more about them in future episodes and live streams. But definitely, again, we have the links down below. Go check those guys out. Get a little discount. Other than that, that'll be about it for this week. We night, have the Paul Stulak cigar next week. I will be in Provodicon. Don't forget this week end. So if any of you guys are going to be there, definitely come and say what's up. Say hi. And next video coming out early next week will be the next Overland build. And um, maybe next week if I have time, some because I'm going to get some footage while I'm down there at Provada. So maybe we'll do some kind of Provada video somewhere or something. So that's what's going on next week. But we'll probably talk about it next week's live stream. We will have the bandanas coming out. I should have an update on Zippos and stuff. But we'll talk about that in next week's show. Hope all you guys have a fantastic week. We'll see you bitches next Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Love all you hoes. Bye-bye. Smooches.